Because I had a situation where I had a woman, we were, we were fuck buddies. And this was a chick who would, when she did come over, you know what I'm saying, for sex, she would do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? She would even bring me shit. Um, she was the type of woman that would be willing to cook me a meal and, and take me out on her dime and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So when she hit me up and, and was complaining about the fact that, you know, you don't take me out, uh, what's up with that? And I told her, point blank, that's not what we do. When I get horny, I call you up. If you're free, I step through. If you get horny, you call me up. If I'm free, I fall through. I'm like, that's it. That's what the fuck we do. Women don't get with guys as placeholders. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you? Who actually respects you, who actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? And you're not talking about some hypergamy? This is real simple. The reason why women treat you like shit, the reason why women got an attitude with you, the reason why women fucking diss you and disrespect you is because they never liked, loved, or respected you in the first place. Your whole story is cap, bro. Matter of fact, it's big cap. I'm gonna call you the Mad Hatter. Fuck! I don't know why I would have any music to lie. You guys didn't even know me. Oh, oh, no. That's the same thing. You act like you've never had sex a day in your life, bro. What it is is you're lying. Get that stuff. <laughs> you're, you're lying to yourself. That's why you can't make any progress, bro. All the sex, listen, all the sex that you've gotten, I'm pretty sure like handed to you. When a woman meets a man that's valuable and knows who the fuck he is, she knows that she can never overpower a nigga with game or a real dude or, or a man or a man of value or um, and not even to say a man of value because that sounds too much like what other niggas be saying what i really mean is a man that knows his value when a woman is dealing with a man that knows his value she knows that she cannot overpower him so she ends up saying to herself well if i can't beat him i gotta join him but when a woman is in a room full of dudes that know they value, she knows that she has to submit. And if she don't submit, she got to get the fuck up out of the room. No matter what level she brings it to, how loud she get disrespectful or talks fast, you have to keep your cool. You have to keep it on your energy level. So if you want her to be submissive, you want her to be calmed down, you want her to bring it down a notch, you won't yell louder than her. Talk to her like this. You, yo, I don't do that. I don't know if you talk to people like that, but that's not how you're gonna talk to me. That's not that's not what I do. Now, if you wanna continue to do that, I will show you exactly where the door is. I will escort you out, tell you to have a nice trip, and send your ass right to the gulag. You'll be gone. I don't tolerate that from people in my life. For all you surface dwellers out there and shit, how does it how does it feel following all these motherfuckers on the other side of the streets? talking about don't do shit well if you ain't gonna do shit then why don't you do man shit don't run away from fear don't dwell in the past don't give away your power don't feel sorry for yourselves don't make the same mistakes over and over again don't worry about what people think about you why don't you do some man don'ts if you're gonna do a don't anyway grass eating lion it's sad to see so many men suffer from bitch assness. And then women know there's such a such at an advantage with weak men. They try to shut me up. This is the part of being a man is standing on your squares, understanding that nobody's gonna move me. I move mountains. Nobody's gonna move me off my square. They need to respect your word. They need to be a shift in behavior when you get home. They need to understand what the deal is when you're around them there's no such thing as compromise with men compromise you should be yeah, fucking at the all truck day mm -hmm. all the day That's That's fucking, these conversations uh, are obviously too in depth they're too in depth with these bitches man what, what are we talking about you're a truck driver bitch i come in every state and i fuck hoes that's what i do and you, you gonna be one of them or i'm gonna find one that will and the thing is, if she if she got an issue, if she got an issue with you not having a place to stay, that means she ain't really feeling you. Um, respect to scary uh, scary Perry for the five dollar super chat. He says, "Salute to the real game no theory panel best show on Sunday." I don't I don't I don't I don't know what leaving pussy on the table means because pussy pussy's not valuable enough to be left on the table in the first place, in my opinion. Is exactly I'm gonna have Christmas lights back there. <laughs> and I'm fucking stitches under the light.
The following program is rated M-A-N. It contains assertive men who are kings of their castles. Men who don't make excuses or blame women for everything that's going wrong in their lives. Men who don't make the game about women. Instead, they make the game about the man. So, if you're into theory or use soft, weak-ass words like hypergamy, red pill, no fap, be on your purpose, high value man, or money, clothes, and status, buddy, you're in the wrong place, and you need to go two doors down where the male cuddle parties and circle jerks are going on. This is a man's space. Since the fall of the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs ran underground because they had nothing to offer. The content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective, to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars and money. Deception and manipulation. Indirect game. Going your own way. They talk pills and plates. They complain. They blame. Fake it till you make it. I just don't get it. A man doesn't need to lie to meet women. He just needs to learn how to spit flavour in her eyes and in her ears. Thanos broke down the game when he said, As long as there are those who remember what was, there will always be those who cannot accept what can be. Even in darkness, a man can find light. Sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies. Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. The authentic players of the game. The authentic players of the game. Let it be no confusion. This here is a movement. Leveling up, real talk, ain't no illusion. Helping all the men see the light, that's right. Only bringing the truth, you can't deny. That's the vibe, we gon' bring you the insight. Bring you the game plan, show them we real men. We ain't never breaking. You know what I'm talking about, I know that you hear me. Yeah, yeah, this is real game, no theory. Let's go, real game, no theory. Here to make it happen. Teach men how to be men, now it's time to put in action. Taekwondo and K Zagan, we got miles in the building. Mr. 1950 and Steve the Dean Williams Mr. Lucario and the anti-villains We gotta keep it real, this ain't about hurt feelings uh, Speak the truth, gotta say it loud so you hear me Real game, no theory They don't want you to be who you destined to be Real men are necessary, not accepting defeat Talking the man mindset, uh, and this is the time now We will never fold, never fall off or bow down Time to make it happen, we ain't even stressing So many don't take accountability for their actions I gotta say it louder, if you don't really hear me Speaking the truth, this is real game, no theory uh. All right, man. We're Yo, what up? 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 Yeah. Yeah, what's happening? What's uh, happening? Miles is on his way, so you're going to be like, okay. tell me. Okay, right. hey, real quick, 50. That's a dope hat. I just want to say that, my brother. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Not too many people know what this is, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I know what it is. For Seinfeld. Yeah, that's Seinfeld, man. Let's just on the side over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Really. I All see. Right. I see my nigga Steve over here, man. Uh, upgraded over here, man. No, no. Background going. Yeah, I like that. Man, it's fire. Man, it's fire. I hear spinning a little bit of that chips he be making out here, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I just started this yesterday. Remember, I, I'm new to this shit. I, I'm new, so that's, yeah, that's really that's really gigolo money he's spending. That's what he's yeah, doing. Let's, let's go around the room. Shut the fuck, man. Anyway, 1950, you up, man? Hey, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to my new members on my membership, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Uh, trying to trying to have this community start up too. About to have y'all rock with 50 in a different way, but hey, let's get it on today, man. Let's rock and roll. 
All right, guys, TDD wins the man mindset. Guys, always remember to like, subscribe, go ahead and hit everybody's thing. Guys, go ahead and ask questions. Miles be in soon to call in. Let's roll it to the bad boy, the dating game. What up, what up, what up? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the building. Um, Yeah, let's go. Let's make this happen. Let's get this game. Let's do it. All right, Zag, you up? Zag, 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 Zag. You you on on me? Me? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, so shout, out, shout, out, shout, out, shout out to my compadres and shit. Uh, manhood is indeed a skill set. And ladies, this is why you got to share us. Let's go. That's back. All right, so let us uh let's get to the uh let's get to the uh the uh the video <laughs> and let's go ahead and chop it up. Here we go, here we go. Let's get it, Zach. Oh, Zach, you want to play anything before we say you want to say anything before we play? Oh, I just want to say real quick, because we're always gonna get this shit. Guys, it's a skit, but it's art imitating life. Art oh, yeah. pay attention yeah. to what's being said and don't pay attention to the fact that everybody can tell it's a fucking skit. We know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's, uh, viewer discretion is advised. Here we go. Here we go. It's loading up. That, that, don't worry. Hey, hey, guys, it is actually loading up. It's not my fault. Right. <laughs> <laughs> T-Mobile the... internet over there. It's not <laughs> mobile, man. Oh, hey, God. No, hey, hey. We got to... oh, no, here we go. Fuck y'all. Here we go, man. Here we go. I'm shocked, man. Y'all gonna sit there and say, come on, load up, motherfucker. Oh, it's loading up. Nah, I'm making <laughs> <laughs> hold on, man. Devices having trouble. Shit. Wait, wait. Hold on, man. Hold they, on. They're trying to stop the game. That's fucked up. Hey, hey, thank you, the car. Hey, the car. See the car. You understand? You got these other two uh, motherfuckers talking all that <laughs> and everything, right. man. Just, hey, sometimes we got to make sure that Steve took his brain memory pills and shit. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a second. Hold on, guys. I'm I'm gonna jump out. Come back in. Y'all talking much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. Don't judge me. I'll be back. Fuck. I'll be back. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, listen, man. The, the title already itself. It, we already know what it's gonna be about. but but it's got it's got to be that sometimes though. You know, right. what I'm we got we, we got to talk about it because one of the things that always makes me laugh is dudes are so focused on the type of men that women are actually going for instead of mm -hmm. becoming that dude themselves right yeah and then and then they think it's a universal bitch that's out here that everybody's supposed to like or something they, right they think, oh you know uh if i don't like your bitch that means you ain't got no game or you ain't mm -hmm. you know what i mean you can't get women or something you know what i mean right it's, it's crazy man it's crazy that's just wild that's just wild. Oh, Mouse, he backstage, but uh, Steve Hobby got to come back on to get him back on. Get that little <laughs> whack internet, man. <laughs> man. I need to upgrade the internet. Got a new background. Lower the internet. Oh, lower the internet costs. Crazy, crazy. But, but yeah, you know what's funny about this topic, though? The fucking, when they say the good man hates the bad boy, basically, a lot of these dudes be thinking just because they pay their taxes. <laughs> that, <laughs> that they're good dudes and they deserve the pussy. It's terrible. There you go. There you uh, go. Let's break, break miles real quick because uh, I was recording a certain somebody on a certain podcast crying again and busting up things. But hold on, let's get to miles. Here we go. Sneaky got the magnum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. They go together. They go together too. They do go together. They go together, man. They go together. Facts, mm -hmm. man. So, in other words. Wash your balls or watch. Yeah, yeah, your balls. yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. We we need to we need to protect we need to protect the seed for real. We need to protect yeah. the seed in these. Oh, hey, hey, definitely protect the seed. And if you're following anybody who is not protecting their seed, and then they want to talk about why single mothers are so bad. <laughs> yeah, they are having unprotected sex, and then sitting around getting mad and and breaking stuff and, and tearing right. up. And walking off the stage, y'all got to be careful about that. I'm just saying. So hey man, I, 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 yeah, I just man, you be, we like the raw. We like the feeling of the raw. Just make sure it's the the right bitch. The right. That's, that's, that's it. That's, 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 that's the right bitch, man. Right. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Now, now it's gonna pull up because with my boyfriend. Damn again. What happened? He's just so selfish and disrespectful. Cheating on me all the time, even DMing my best friend. Wow. Right? Could you believe that shit? That's wild. <sighs> you deserve way more than that. A man that really wants you. I know. I, I wish more men talk. acted like you. Like you listen to me. You're always there for me. When I'm sick, you bring me medicine. When I'm behind on my bills, you're there. Just you just get me. 
You're my best friend. You know what? Let me be real with you. I always respected your relationship, so I never wanted to cross those boundaries. But I fuck with you heavy. We vibe and we connect on a whole nother level. I know what I want as a man. So what are you saying to me? Look, man, let's stop bullshitting and put everything on the table. I'm more of a man like me, and I know what I want. And what I want is you. Hello. Hey, baby. I miss you too. I was waiting for you to call. Oh, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just by myself, chilling. <laughs> what you doing? That's crazy. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm about to come. Right now? No, I'm not doing nothing. Like, nothing at all. I'm about to come right now. All right. Bye. Hey, you gotta go. What? I'll just, I'll talk to you another day. <laughs> but you're not, you just said you was gonna break up with him. I right? need some dick. That's our life. That's our life. That's our life. <laughs> Love it. Ah, these sucker oh. ass niggas, man. <laughs> that is a real description. Yes. Of a sucker, too, man. They and they yeah, let, let me just say this really quick, man. I know before we go around, any man is listening to a another woman's problems and, and you're not, and she's not under your program, so mm -hmm. you're a simp. <laughs> you are a pure simp. And there's a there's a direct simp. And then there is a passive simp. Let me let me tell you the difference. A direct simp is openly simping. This guy is oh laying down his fucking jacket over water puddles and shit for a bitch, right? Mm -hmm. But then the other one, what they do is is that they appear to be away, but indirectly, emotionally, and everything, it's going a whole different way trying to get this bitch. I'm telling you, right. man, it happens all the time. Right. That shit, that shit's sad though, because the funny part is, is that <laughs> these dudes don't realize the position they're in is the exact reason why she don't want to fuck you. So he's like, "Oh, you know, I've been feeling this way and blah." blah. It's like, nigga, she don't want your ass because it's like the fact that you're there listening to her shit is the reason why she don't want to fuck with you. She's just waiting on the the nigga that she's complaining about to call back, and that and that's how it always happens. So any of you guys, see, this is the funny part. A lot of dudes. What they do is they think they throw salt on the motherfucker, and and what they're doing is helping the guy. So they'll say, you know, he's he's an asshole. Why do you keep fucking with him? He's just gonna do this and do that and blah blah blah. And the whole time, all you're doing is helping him by telling her how much of an asshole he is, talking about how much of a you know a bad guy he is. That's what's gonna make her want him more. So it's like y'all niggas is weird when he do that type of you shit. You know what? I'm gonna go deeper with it. No diddy. So check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, a lot of times, and women in the chat, I don't know if they're going to admit it or not, but this is true. Sometimes what makes a woman want a, a male friend or a male bestie is because they really want advice from a male's perspective to help them keep that bad boy. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right Y'all got that. Well, well, you know what? I, I think this is a this is a dirty macking at its finest. This is what tricking is. This is what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Wasted time. Gentlemen, you should never be her shoulder to cry on. And then the worst part about it is I always used to call it in the in the late 90s, because you know I'm kind of old in the tooth. I would call it Mr. Fairy Tale or throwing salt in, in another man's game. Mm. Mr. Fairy Tale or hating, hating too. Oh, well, that's what I say. Well, that's what I say, Mr. Salt. See, mm. what, what, what Mr. Fairy Tale do is start telling her how beautiful, how gorgeous she is, and all these other he will try to uplift her, but Mr. Salt would say, Man, you know what? You don't want to fuck with Miles. He got that soap and those magnums over there. You don't want to fuck with 1950. He going to choke you in your neck. You don't want to mess with Mr. Lucario because he's the bad boy today. And I heard he messed with someone named April. You don't want to mess with KZ. So, so what happens is these guys out there, they do the work for us, gentlemen. That's what y'all understand. Let the workers work because no matter what you say to her, there is nothing that's going to change her mind from a man. A man supersedes everything. So whatever she's feeling, thinking, and when she's in her emotions, she's going to find an emotional individual. That emotional individual is going to push her right back to us. Y'all got it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say that the, uh, the honesty is what really attracts the woman. You know what I'm saying? Like the honesty. And when and what I mean is is that women women love to be disappointed and women love to be you know w women love to be made happy and they love to be disappointed and the reason why is and what, what a lot of guys don't understand is that women love all emotions right they love they love a range of emotions 
And what happens is the bad boy and the asshole, the bad boy and the asshole is totally honest. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the bad boy says, look, look, you're going to have to share me. And she's mm -hmm. and she's jealous. But at the same time, she's like, God damn, that nigga honest with me. Like he's so confident that he could tell me he fucking with other bitches. And that yo, and 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 his dick is a gift. Yeah, he got that good shit. And oh man, what and in her mind, she loves the back and forth in her mind. She loves it. Mm -hmm. But the straight lace nice guy who listened to, you know, the quote unquote good man who listens to all her problems and is the perfect man, emotionally, that man is boring. Right. Yeah. Emotionally. You know, that's why that's why she loves to bring drama to him. That's why she loves to talk to him about her problems, because that's the only time she has any emotional uh, dynamic with that man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because all, at all other times, talking to the nice guy is a boring conversation. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So she's going to always. Oh, you know, he's such an asshole. He did this. He said that and he made me feel like this. And he's just sitting there like, oh, wow, really? That's crazy. You don't deserve that. I know. Right. I don't deserve that. And so, and and she know that she can't even have that conversation with the with the bad boy and the real nigga, right? She have that conversation, with, she just got to keep those emotions inside and say to herself, "Man, I want to I want to keep him in my life, or I don't." That's why even in a skit, as soon as he as soon as the dude called, she was just ready. Oh, I ain't doing nothing, right? You, you gotta leave because you're, you're boring. <clears throat> you understand? And 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 here's the thing. Nobody's saying that you have to go out of your way to be an asshole. But the mm -hmm. thing is, is that the honesty of life brings enough drama as, as it is. Right. So when a man is honest and it's like, look, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. A woman's going to she's going to be happy. She's going to be disappointed. She's going to have high times. She's going to have low times. And that's what a woman really loves. She loves authenticity and the real uh, emotional dynamics of dealing with an honest man. Mm hmm. Real shit. So, guys, call in 919 647 919-647-9392 is the number. Call in if you have a question. Put a Q in the chat, and we can get to the question. You feel me? Yes, if you have a question, yeah, just put a Q in the chat. We got y'all covered. And this is why uh, this is why we always say, Miles, you're absolutely right. I, I, think, I think a lot of men think that in order to get to a woman, they've got to play a role mm. in I've just never understood how men and women can be friends. I just never, I, we, we all have associates, you know, when we're at work or something, you know, we say hi to someone, how's your day or something like that. But I don't understand what it's like to sit next to someone that you are trying to get at, to hear her talk about another guy. And you got to sit there and, 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 and like, it's like a Mike Tyson punch and you just like get beat down and, and, and like, what, do you, what does one do after she walks off and she's done telling you about the guy she wants to sleep with, she misses and she loves? It just it just boggles my mind how people want to live that way, man. Hey, tell this, jo hey Joyce, call in, Joyce. Yeah, call in, exactly. Call in, Joyce. So, so, Joyce. So, so, so we can poke and prod at you a little bit. Call in. Joyce. 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 It's a free, free call. You don't have to donate or nothing because because we know y'all women don't like don't like to spend no fucking money. Joyce. So, Oh yeah, go ahead. The next guy, he's much better. Any bad boy been with? Yeah, yeah, Joyce, Joyce, see, I'm gonna tell you what Joyce did. Jo Joyce thinks she's slick. You ain't fooling nobody. So <laughs> Joyce, Joyce probably is with this nice guy, and but she's settling. Anytime, okay. Anytime a woman is with a guy like she's describing, she's basically settling for him. He's the safe guy. That's what they call the safe guy. That's the guy they run to when they want to recharge. So mm -hmm. she was, she was with a guy who was like. You know, who had game, who was on point and either, you know, uh, he left her or she got frustrated because she knew she couldn't change him. Mm -hmm. So now she went to the safe guy because the safe guy will allow her to do anything he wants that she wants. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Like this is this is the, the common thing that happens. Like I already know this. This stuff is happening. So she's with this safe guy. And because the safe guy is consistent and is basically there for her, on, you know, hand and foot. She feels good about that aspect of it. But the thing is, the safe guy does not get the pussy wet. The safe guy is not the guy that she that she really desires. So he's there, but he ain't really like she's not excited about that. dude. It ain't, either, it ain't either that or she can't catch the attention of any of the bad boys no more. Oh, that's another thing, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> no not her. She, she just sounds like the kind of woman that wants a sucker. And, mm -hmm. and it's not and it's not really Joyce that you have a nice guy. You just have someone that you have control over. Mm -hmm. right? Somebody right. that you can tell what to do. 
You have somebody when you're mad, you can make them sleep on the couch. Oh shit. Uh anonymous. Hello? Hello? You're you're on live with the real game notary panel. Say something. <laughs> But she hung up. Is that her? No, it, it, said, it said anonymous, so I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm like, Joyce, so call, you know what, Joyce? Back. I got your back, Joyce. You're going to let these dudes talk shit about you, Joyce? <laughs> Joyce. 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 Joyce is man. happy. She's in love. Call in, baby. I Joyce. like older women, Joyce. Don't them, Joyce. <laughs> call, in. Joyce. Call, in. call in. Call in, baby. I will knock the cobwebs off of them walls early. <laughs> Joyce, don't call me. My, my nigga said Joyce, cobwebs, nigga. <laughs> not, not, not cobwebs. Cobwebs. Oh, and I'm, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name A City. What's up? Babe, 28 Alabama. Oh, yeah. You know. Shit. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What up, man? How Come you on, doing? Right? How, up, how are you going to agree but disagree with us today? <laughs> um... <laughs> That's all you no. do. Now, I, yo, I yeah, fuck nah, with y'all, nah, nah, and I, I watch y'all show, disagree. and I agree with everything y'all saying, but I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, come on, man. I done took a little break on it. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I do feel like I do feel like it do. Well, let me stop saying. I feel like I do yeah. know that it depends on the woman. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what she's looking for at that moment. Because I don't. I'm, I'm naturally an asshole, and I don't ran some of my mouth. And they pick somebody nicer than me. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I done been nice and got some play too. It just depends on the woman. Oh, you know my God. They emotional. They nice. Oh, okay. They nice. See, <laughs> well, real, real, real quick, real quick, homie. See, let, let, me, let me just say this. We, we gotta, when we talk about nice, we, we got to talk about what people mean by that. Because cause here, right. here's the reality of it. Uh, women, right. don't, women don't want to be mistreated. Now, 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 having said that, like when I say, hey, ladies, you got to share all us. You got to share us, right? There are some women who might look at me saying that, but like, he's an asshole. Because on one hand, women don't want to share niggas because that, that's the selfishness that they have. But on the other hand, there are some women that understand if they're dealing with that dude that other women want and he has options, they know in reality they got to share them, Right. So when we talk about the difference between a guy who's an asshole and nice, what's an asshole? An asshole is simply a guy who won't let women have their way. When I talk about I only deal with women strictly on my terms, I don't make no accommodations. I don't make no concessions. There are women who will hear me say that and be like, he's an asshole. That doesn't mean that I mistreat women, though. Right. And and, and call it the reason why the reason why women go from. I already got it. Right, right. So, Paula, the reason why they go back and forth is because when a woman is with a guy who she considers an asshole, she knows she can't change him, so she gets frustrated, and then sometimes they'll leave the guy because they're frustrated, and then so they get the opposite. So then the opposite is that nice guy. So then they're with the nice guy, but then they get bored with the nice guy, and they be like, "Man, fuck this guy, he's boring," and then they go back to the asshole. So they're jumping from the asshole to the nice guy, asshole to the nice guy. The thing is, though, is that they really don't want the nice guy. The nice guy is just where they chill and settle until they find another asshole to get with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, see, a woman enjoys a no. Hey, caller. Hey, caller. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, caller, real quick, man. Women, women actually like a man to stand on it, right? And they like to be told no. They yeah. like that. What The nice guy is the agreeable guy. If you are agreeable, you really are saying to yourself, you can compromise whatever your beliefs are to make this person in front of you happy. See, a woman follows you because your purpose she agrees with and wants to help you get there. That means she's going to do everything possible, everything possible to have you get there and she will do whatever. But these one, these, these women talk about, oh, you know, I, I got this nice guy. What that saying is, is that there's times I can manipulate him to do what I want him to do. This other guy, he is not going to allow that. Mm. Without giving if, you're, up. if you're a nice guy, you're agreeable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You're agreeable. exactly. You're, agreeable. you're agreeable, you're soft, you're weak, and you'll do anything you can. And the worst part about it is most of y'all don't even get pussy. And if you get pussy, it kind of be like on the opposite of Zags. You're going to do it on her terms. Mm-hmm. Real talk. All right, Caller, you, you got anything else for us? 
Um, not really. I just, I still just think it depends on the woman and what the woman looking for. What do you, you want? Uh, uh, so, why do you, Alabama? Why do you care what the woman's looking for? I'm about to say that too. Yeah. I mean, my whole thing is, no, no, no. I, I'm not, I never said, hey, I care what the woman are looking for. That's what you saying. I'm just saying that everybody's looking for what they're looking for. You might be looking for. You might have a type of woman that you're looking for. Uh, you type of man that you're looking for. I never said I cursed, Steve. Can we I'm not? Gonna, no, I'm real quick. The Milliness panel will never ask a woman what she's looking for because we know we are the thing she needs. So we're never going to ask that question. We don't care what she's looking for because we know where the guy. So, so Carla, no, but Carla, Carla, listen here. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the words you choose when you express yourself say something about your thoughts, right? So <laughs> if, if you honestly don't care about what a woman might be looking for, why talk about it, Carla? Why even bring it up? When as because men, we know no, listen, 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 listen. No, but listen though, as a as a man in the conversation. If I don't care what a woman is looking for and all that matters is what I'm looking for, why would I ever mention what a woman might be looking for, bro? Because it's relevant to the conversation. No, it's I never not. Said I call it. I it. Said I, Here it is. Wait, 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 wait. Call it. Call it. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, listen. If I know, if I know that I'm looking for, let's just say, if I know I'm looking for a woman who knows how to make steak and knows how to make a bed and that's it, right? And then I'm going across right. and I'm meeting women. A bitch from the circus that's a vet vet veterinarian who don't know how to make steak and make a bed. Does she get my time? No. Nah. So why is she relevant to the conversation? Mm. Because we have a general conversation. I'm not and, saying. What and I call it, even if you was to say that, you know that's still a, a wrong statement, though. <laughs> call her. Call her. That's still that's still a wrong statement because that's that the the nice guy is not what they're looking for. That's what they settle for. What you're looking for and what you settle for is two different things. I'm glad you said you that. Call her, <laughs> so, let me call, call her, call her real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, Dave, Dave from Alabama. Hold on, hold on, bro. I got you. I got you. Hey, I want a guy to smack me in the face, you know. Bro, bro, I got you. I am mistreated. Like, let's be fam, up. Fam, 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 fam. Have you ever had a woman who thought you was an ass because she couldn't really get her way and she stopped fucking with you and then months later she came back? Yes. Okay, that's the chick that said... I want, a, I want a guy that's more agreeable. David keeps telling me no. Even though I'm sexually attracted to him, I like having sex with him, I feel like there's things I want to do that he keeps telling me no on. So there's another guy she's dating that's more agreeable than you. So she goes to him, and then what happens is she realizes she's not as attracted to him sexually, and, and, and he never tells her no. And then she gets bored until she comes back to the bad guy. Women do that shit. Right, so if if she was I looking for it, so, so so hold on, so they, 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 take this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if she was, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, listen, listen. I'm gonna let you go, but because if she was looking for the nice guy, why would she come back to you? Because that's what she. They don't know what they want. One minute they want that, the next minute they want that. They okay, call her. Okay, call her. All time. right, call her. If they don't know what they want, then why consider what they want in a conversation, even if it's a general conversation? Dad Lucario, please. Because it is a general conversation. All right, all right. Call her. Happy you know, Have a great Sunday, bro. We uh, appreciate uh, you for calling in. You know, Unless you have anything else to say to him. No, it just case it just confuses me, caller. So you, I just want you to answer this question because you said earlier. And I caught this earlier when you said, you know, some women, you know, uh, you know, they like when I'm a nice guy and then other women's like when I'm a bad guy. Explain to me what you were doing as a nice guy for you to feel like that's what they were looking for. Um, see, Zag had cleared it up when Zag said what he said. That's why I like, you know what, Zag, you 100 percent right, because it's perspective. I, I'm going to present myself how I'm going to present myself to some folks i might be a blunt asshole to some folks i'm honest so when zag said what he said when, when zag said what he said i had to clean i had to clean it up like he 100 percent right because i'm doing the same shit i'm just being perceived differently based on what they looking for so, so he right. i can't oh, you know? so so it's kind of like what, what we've been saying this whole entire time it doesn't matter what they feel like right I never, I say it depends. This is what I'm saying. It depends on what she's looking for. You put out what you put out. They're going to respond how they're going to respond. You're going to get accepted by some. You're going to get rejected by some. It depends on what she's looking for. 
I never said I curved or blah blah blah. I never no, said no. I but what what you're saying is, if you were even like what Miles was saying, and I women change what, up. It depends on what they're looking for. What Miles was saying, I agree a hundred percent. If it's even in your mind that you're looking to see if they either accept it or reject you based upon your knowledge of who you are. Like if you already know caller that this is the way I am, this is who I am. And these people, regardless of what I do is going to get on this program or they're not. Why waste your time thinking, Oh, well, some women look at this. Some women want this and some women want that. It does not matter. See, he caught you. He said, so you're just playing the part for some ass because how is it? How is it that one woman sees you this way and another woman sees you that way? Shouldn't you be one way always? Always. I just said that I'm one way our way and I'm going to be perceived differently based off what they're looking but, for. But Carla, you can't be, but Carla, you can't be perceived differently. Call it's impossible. How are you going to be perceived differently in an, in interactions with women where if you like, for example, K Zagan said on his terms at all times. So how all of a sudden a woman's going to perceive you as a nice guy with, if it's on your terms at all times. If she likes what you're presenting, then she's going to consider you how she's going to consider you. Zag said it perfectly. Because some women are, they don't see it this way, and some women don't see it. Nobody's going to perceive 50 as being a soft guy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm the same everywhere. I've never been told, I've never been told, oh man, you're such a big softy. I've never been told that. <laughs> call it, call it. Who's the game about? Who's the game about? Us or, or women? I mean, the game is, is the game is about. I mean, I don't agree with the game. It's about, no, 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 no. I think it's That's what we. So, 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 call it. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. I said that, man. Let, let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If you, if you was to stand on your own ten, on your own ten toes, and you could, you could only attract five women. But if you, but you was, but if you was able to. Be everything to all women and attract a billion women. Which one would you choose? I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rock with this five. It's too much work. You lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. Your whole argument. Your whole argument is about. Your whole argument is about switching up who you are based on the expectation of the female because you're trying to appeal to more females. You trying to put on me, bro? And I ain't gonna worry. All right. All right. Real quick, this is why, and this is why women fuck with us over that most of you guys out there because y'all are always moving the goalposts. And the thing is, this is why we never ask a woman what she's looking for because she's never been really yeah, out there. She's never been around a man. The majority of you guys out here are passive. You don't have any influence on the woman. You don't have any clear expectations. And I can go on and on. That's what they're used to. The one thing women are not used to are these five motherfuckers on this panel because these five on this panel and there are other ones like us out there, very few. We keep it a buck with women. We don't play around. And this is what we are. You either down or you're not. And if you are, we don't give a fuck. And if you're not, we don't give a fuck. Where yeah. you guys care, you you seek validation from her saying yes to her <laughs> and all that other silly ass shit. That's why y'all losing in this motherfucking game. All right, but uh, all right, Memphis. We appreciate you, brother. Thanks for the call. Fuck. Yeah, man. I haven't seen any bitches in Alabama ever, though. Oh, I ain't never like, oh, she, oh, she's nice looking. Oh, where are you from, Alabama? I ain't never <laughs> fucking seen a bitch from Alabama. I'm sure they got a few. Hey, um, <clears throat> uh, 276 and 810. Call back. All right, here we go. 810. All right, 810, 810. You are on live with the real game of the three panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Hey, this. This is L23 from Michigan. L23, Michigan. All right. What's up? Yeah. Um, I just DM 50 over. It's like a receipt. Seeing I need re like a review on the situation. So. You email me? Yeah. I thought I'm I, like, I'm not subscribed to anything yet, but I like follow your videos. I'll, I'm subscribed to Taekwondo though. I'm on the. What, what's, the what's the situation? Call it. Tell us. So I'm. Um, so like yesterday, uh, I went to, up to this bar for karaoke. And there was this uh, like thirty year old lady there, and I was talking to her. And I got her information, 
and I um I was messaging her and she just shit my bad I just smoked weed fuck this nigga. but <laughs> but, but uh I was I was like um we should get together I was like what are you doing tonight we should get together so we can do um do yoga she was like wow she said you want to do yoga I was like yeah the kind we can do on the bed and she said you're crazy for talking to me like this I was, wait, wait, wait. call her call her what the what the fuck is do yoga are you serious I didn't, I didn't get that I didn't get that email call her. What the fuck is do yoga? You're a spandex and sp- and, and and position yourself like a a, a mannequin. What the fuck is that bitch shit? No, she does yoga. She's like one of them holistic type bitches. So I was saying do yoga, and then she said you want to do yoga. And you, I said, hey, I so to you want to stand like this with one leg up and f- like no, this? No, one? no, Steve, Steve. He, he's talking about sex, but he just used yoga as nah, a conduit to get yeah. to the sex. And he's disingenuous. <laughs> I wasn't being disingenuous. She asked what I meant. Wait, 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 wait. Say everybody in the chat room, what does yoga mean? Does yoga mean fucking or does yoga mean yoga? <laughs> Fuck. When, when, did, when did yoga mean fucking? So call her. That's why she had to ask you what you meant because you because she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? So now what happened? You said she you said you said you want to get her in a bed, and what did she say? She said, um, she said you're crazy for talking to me like this. So she just knew what I meant by that. And I said, um, and then I told her. I'm out right now, but I'll hit you up when I'm home. And she said, and I, then she said she was out. She was making one more stop, and she just stopped on the change. And then she said she'll let me go. And then wait, 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 wait. You know, time oh, out. Call us, stop. 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 Let, me, let me get him. Let me get him. Call it. Here, here's the problem, and I don't know why you guys do this. So correct me if I'm wrong, but what it sounds like is you met her, you exchanged contact information, then you brought up the sex over the phone. Is that correct? No. I no, I brought it up. Okay, so in person, too, like this is no cap. When I was talking to her in person, like she she was there with the, like two of her male friends or whatever. So I was talking to her, and then I was like, I took her hand or whatever. I was like, so are any of those rings? Like, are you engaged? And she said, no, she's super single. And then that's when I got. Then that's when I started talking to her and exchanged the information. But prior to that, they were looking for something to do, so I suggested them to go to a club. And then, but Carla, 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 what did you say? You didn't say anything about getting together to have sex, did you? No. Yes, yeah, I said. Well, after I told, like, when they were getting ready to leap out, I was ta- after we got the information, I said, I said, we can just skip the club and go back to my place or whatever. And then she was like, and then when they got to left, I was like, nice meeting you. And then she, and wait, then wait, 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 back up, back up, you talking too fast. So you said, let's skip the, the, the club and go back to my place. What did she say? She just, she smiled and laughed. Like she looked, cause she was with her friends. So I don't know if she was like trying to get too serious. To, like, so, so you said, you said all that in front of her friends? Yes. Oh, y'all niggas can't do that, can't do that bro. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers, man. So, so then, so then, so then, this is the caller. So when you when you hit her up, right, and you said, "Yo, let's do yoga, come back to my bed or whatever." Why didn't you set up a time? You said, "I'll holler at you later." Why didn't you set up a time? Because he wasn't specific, uh, Lucario. He didn't. He just said, "Go to my place and fucking watch TV or something." He didn't even tell her what you're going back to her place for. <laughs> Sketch book from I just DM'd you. I sent you the whole exchange. Call, 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 call. Let me ask you a question. How long have you talked to that woman for? How long were you charged? How long did you talk to her? And would you think in a amount of minutes? How many minutes did you talk to her? Like five or ten. But when I got like I was so forward, I, I got want to ask a serious question. In what fucking universe or galaxy is a woman gonna talk to a, a loser for ten minutes and decide to go over his fucking place? Uh, just under that, tell, she will tell her a few guys, "Hey, I I know you guys, but hey, I'm I'll be back. I'm gonna go with this stranger to his fucking place, and I know nothing, no, know nothing about him. I don't know where he lives or anything about this guy. But hey, guys, y'all go ahead, and I'm just gonna run off with this guy. What fucking do you think life is porn, especially when you don't have any game? No, do I you, don't think that. And I, you know, oh, caller. Caller, look at the thing. What's up? Hey, hey, hey caller, it's fifty, man. So let me let me uh, chime in a little bit. So let me ask you this. You know, I, I really teach being aggressive, so I don't like. I don't really. Um, there's levels of the game, right? So when you don't have the game that's needed in order to deliver the point to the woman, is going to be confused, right? Okay. So what I'm what we're actually telling you, or what we're actually telling you, is that you need to start off with being direct. You're not able to you're not able to do this next level of game because you don't have the ability to 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 know how to communicate with a woman 
in a way that she understands you by the way you talk. You don't have that ability yet. So all I'm saying is if you wanted sex from this woman, you should have been a lot more direct with sex, right? You, on the front end. You know, a lot of you guys try to come in through the back door instead of going through the front door. Mm -hmm. Start going through the front door, man. It direct to her. She knows it's coming. This is what it is. And then when you get to that next level of understanding what game, then you can use words like, you know, hey, look here, we're going to do this yoga, and I'm going to stretch you out that whole body. I'm going to stretch. You, you, you understand it's the way – of the game is being delivered. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, for check this out. All right, caller. I want to show you in five or two minutes. Tell us how much influence you think you have a woman on why she should fuck you in ten minutes. Why should a woman go to your place? Tell us why. What is the incentive she's going to get from a guy she's only met for ten minutes who is passive and beats around the bush? Why should she fuck you? I assume that she wanted to because no, I'm asking like, uh, you. I'm making my point. I'm no. asking you, why should she fuck you? Because we're talking about influence here, which you don't have, but I'm trying to open your your, your dumbass eyes. Why should she fuck you? You talked to her for 10 minutes. So that means you should have enough influence on her in 10 minutes for her to say, let's go back to your place. So why should she fuck you? Because I'm I'm a good time. I'm fun. I'm fun experience. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this, Carla. Listen, listen. Hold on, real quick. And and I, I don't want this to to be lost on guys, because Steve he he says something that, that that was very important. He said, "What kind of guy who's who's passive?" So you there are guys who can meet a woman in in five ten minutes and leave. I, I've done it right. So Yo, there are guys yeah. who can pull it off, but the average guy can't do that. <laughs> average. <laughs> Average guy can't they can't make that happen. And also, right. now there are instances where a woman is instantaneously sexually attracted to you, like you had her at hello. The the problem is most guys can't even recognize that in a woman. So so even if that dynamic exists, most guys are gonna fuck it up because they are passive and indirect. And she's gonna say to herself, Yeah, I ain't never mind. Right. And call her, check this out. Didn't she tell you she's gonna get back to you? No, she never said that. She t I told her I was going to message her. No, you said that. You said you was going. You said you said something, and she replied, "I'll let you know," or "I'll I'll let you. I'll get back to you." Didn't she say that? So, yeah, yeah, she said that. Well, because I told her where she. I asked her what she's doing because yeah, I'll be home at a mi in a minute, and I told her the. And then I told her, like, gave her time to come by. I told her when I get back, she can come through. So I should have gave her more, like, direct time. No, 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 this, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. She said to you, I'll get back to you or I'll let you know. What was she saying that towards? Like, what did you say that made her say that? Look at your text. So I can, uh, one second. This is why. Just, just read exactly what you put. That, yeah, because that way basically, we can better assess it. Because basically what it sounds like is, is that you're just throwing shit at the wall. She's yeah. entertained by your, by you being passive aggressive. And nothing's gonna really happen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, right now. So, because 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 yeah, call caller. Oh, right now. Oh, yeah. What's up? So, caller, this is what I'm trying to tell you. When you were telling her or trying to get to the point of talking about having sex, you deviated from that and said, "I'll holla at you later." Why didn't you at that point set up a time and a in a place and a date to make that happen? Mm, shit, I don't know. I fucked up. I fucked that situation up. That's what we're telling you, man. You didn't fuck up. You made a choice. You didn't fuck up. You are a fuck up. But no. you don't really understand that shit, dog. You think a woman's gonna want to fuck a guy like you who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing? That's not it, like Fifty said. If you wanted to fuck, why didn't you just tell her, "Let's go back to my place and fuck"? But what you did was you beat around the bush, and then you talked about some bullshit ass yoga. Hey, why don't we do some yoga at that place like you're a fucking elementary school kid? A real man's not gonna say, "Let's do some fucking yoga." A real man's gonna say, "Bring that ass over here so we can fuck." Why? Why? why what's the problem with that? Why can't you ask for what you want? I have this one. I felt like, like Lucario said, I'll just the wall with this. But prior, if you let me finish and don't cut me off, I'm not, don't hit the fucking song on me. <laughs> oh, you're about to. We're about to because you're, you're about to get it because you know you're lying. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. 
girl I met prior there, I met her. I met her again since like the other night, and she was um. We were talking on stage and stuff. She said, "Oh, have I seen you before?" She was like, "Oh yeah, blah blah blah." And then um, yeah, it was blah blah blah. Like, what is blah blah blah? Bro, you gotta say exactly what you said, fam. You can't don't do that. Blah blah blah. What's blah blah blah? I said, "Oh, have I met you before?" And then she said, "Yeah." And then she was telling blah 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 was what I met her before the t- last time I was at the club. And then we were sitting like we were sitting down talking to each other, or whatever. And I was like, and then she was, I was like, uh, she was wearing shorts. I was like, yo, you looking good tonight? And then um, I was like, feel like she was getting closer to me, so I put my arm around her, was feeling her up. And I was like, so what are you doing tonight? She said, I have. Or I said, go back to my place, and then we should get together. And she said, um, well, not tonight. And then I, we exchanged numbers, and then I was like, okay. And then I like, and then I left out when I went to talk to some more girls. And then I texted her okay. then, like when I got home. I sent her address to. I sent okay, her stop. My that we okay, should no, go. no, 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 stop. Call her, call her. Call her. Okay, let's back up. Okay, so you tried to take her home that night, and she said not tonight, right? Yeah, and then I when I messaged her, go, call, call, talk, talk, bro, bro, don't talk until I get uh, done. Be quiet for a second. Okay. <clears throat> so when she said not tonight. This is exactly what you should have said to her. Okay, when you're ready to make it happen, when you want this dick, here's my number. Give me a call. That's it. Right. Done. Drop mic. <laughs> but she didn't do that. Yeah, motherfuckers is wild. You didn't do that. You 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 ran the fuck off, and then you crawled your ass back, and then you thought you could pick up from where you left off at, thinking that you're that guy. <laughs> Taylor, you gotta call up, man. We're not we're not being mean to him. We're, we 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 already know he's fucking up. It's so really we don't true. we don't want to waste time with nonsense. Yeah. Instead, we just gotta correct him. So, caller, this is what you gotta understand, man. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. you you don't know how to be direct and lead a woman to sex. Yeah, that's the that's the issue. That's the issue, man. So you need, oh, you need man, to get man. who said who said we being mean? Who, who, who's this person? Taylor made that she she she, she you know she's a woman she you know you know women get all sensitive. Oh, yeah. I'm about to really go. <laughs> she she wants you to be all fucking the way you are, call That's why that's why y'all lose. Women wanted y'all to be just the way you are, call yeah, I'm about to go in. I, you know, I, before, before I so, like tap, I was on fucking nice guy shit. Is, 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 is it just me or is this phone breaking up? Is it just me or is this shit breaking up? It's, it's, it's iPhone, iPhone shit, dog. It's iPhone shit. Okay, so 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 call her. Call her. Here, here's the thing. Let me call her. Call her. Listen for a second, brother. Let me just kind of reiterate what I was saying earlier. If if you're having a discussion that's sexually charged, right, where where it's being talked about, every discussion you have after that should be a continuation of that discussion. Right. Don't switch up and start talking about other shit. Keep keep the same energy. You know what I'm saying? So hey, Taylor so, May, call in, call in, call in. Yeah. I need her to call in. So mm-hmm. when when I told you earlier, hey, all right, cool. That's what's up. Hey, look, when you're ready to make this happen and you want this dick, all you're doing is you're keeping her mind on the task at hand. Exactly. So that way she understands when she calls, this is what we doing. Just so you understand the assignment. That's all it is. Y'all got it. Yeah. Right. So, so call it. Stop being all indirect and all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? Because as soon as you called up talking about yoga, she was like, "Oh, he's one of these niggas that like to play games and be cute." So I'll entertain it, but I'm not really interested because I don't re- like. Why would I? And how old do you call her? 23. I'm 23. And how old is she? She's older than you, right? Yeah, she's for Alan for the Huh? What happened? <laughs> Like, man, oh, y'all, man. How old is she, caller? I said like 30 something. I don't know. Exactly. So, so to her, you already a young boy. So she's like, uh, if I'm going to deal with a young boy, he can't be immature. So your energy is of an immature young boy. Yeah, I need a young boy to tell me, let's go fuck and I'll do it. Exactly. I mean, she's 30. She's 30. They don't want to hear that passive ass shit, man. They've heard that all their fucking lives. <laughs> Let's play yoga. Oh, okay. This motherfucker, two minute motherfucker. I ain't gonna fuck with him. Right. So, call it. Get some coaching, man. That's all we say. I love guys Patreon stuff, so I'll be doing that. Like I just got on though. So, no, get some coaching. Get some one on one coaching. That's what you need. All right. All right, call it. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for calling in. Take it easy. 
Yep, you do. All righty. All right, guys, call in 919-647-9392. 919-647-9392. Let's get it, man. He's a good guy. And and that's what I this is the problem. Y'all guys want y'all guys think being passive and and you understand women masturbate more than us. They touch themselves more than us. They they're nastier. Guys, I am telling all you guys, women are nastier than you. They are the nastiest, dirtiest talking. And, and when they really used to you, they going to say shit, talk about dick, balls, all that kind of stuff. But when they act all passive around you, they, you, they, you just ain't unlocking that, guys. What say y'all, man, on that? Nah, that's a fact, man. That's a yeah, fact. Yeah, nah, that's real shit. Because cause the thing is, a lot of these dudes, they really don't understand that, you know, the woman is looking at you like you goofy because she can she can basically tell your experience based on and how you come at her. You know what I'm saying? She's like, this guy, yeah. you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. and also, man, I, 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 <laughs> I really teach aggressiveness, man. You know what I mean? But I, I need y'all, some of y'all need to start from the beginner mode. Y'all, y'all don't have the level of game mouthpiece to talk to these women to know like these women know what you're talking about when they know this is your life. Like they know women, man, I'm telling you, their BS meter is so great. Mm. These mother, they know women, they can talk to you for two to three minutes and know if you're a guy who, who, who women are attracted to. Right. If you're a guy who knows what the fuck they're talking about, if you're a guy who can teach them something, they know off, I mean, off the rip. And then they put you in a category quick, but a difference between a man and a woman, a woman will put you in 12 different categories, dog. Uh-huh. A man yeah. will put you in one. He <laughs> thinks he's a this is what it is, bitch. You go, <laughs> this is the area you need to be in. He thought he was original, Fifth. He thought, well, let's go play some yoga. She probably like, oh my God, that's so, I've never heard that before. That's, I need to <laughs> <laughs> oh, he heard it before. I never heard it before. I've never heard a guy ask me that before. That's just amazing. Horizontal yoga. Mm. Hey, hey Taylor, wow. Taylor, the Taylor made. I want a hey, call line is open for you, young lady. If you want to call in, we can educate or, you. Yeah, we we want to. I want to go ahead and and talk to you in regards of how men speak to each other. Not only that, the order. Mm. Hey, real so. quick, did, did we did we get unique with the with the twenty? Yeah, yeah. We just uh we we got him right here. Yeah, we got, oh, we got him. Here. We did get him. Yeah, shout out to Unique with the 20 pound uh, super chat. He says, A man doesn't need to be a bad boy. He can be a good man with laws, rules, codes, and principles, as mm-hmm. Steve always says. He is assertive and firm. He knows who he is and stands on respect. It is not complicated, gentlemen. T- tell me, says, She said, I have a dad, so I'm good on being educated. LOL. See, this is, this is where we, this is where we fall off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is where we. This is where we follow. This is how I know that you need structure in your life, and I can tell. Mm-hmm. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put you on game. But I, hey, if your dad can tell you everything, you wouldn't be searching for education through other men. Right. <laughs> yeah, your, your, your dad is not going to talk to you about the shit we talk about. It's not going to mm-hmm. happen. Because of that. Your dad is probably the same dad that allowed her to pump, uh, pump gas and change tires and shit because don't rely on no man to do it for you. Wait, you wait, learn wait. How to do it. The fuck up. Did this nigga Quentin say, What are your thoughts on sleeping in beds with women and not touching them? What? Yeah. 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 No. You know, I'm going to take bubble baths with the clothes on. Like, come on, man. No, yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> 276, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, Age City. How can we help you? 276, go ahead. Two, two, yeah, 276. What's up, man? I, uh, I just want to do this real quick. Uh, Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. We, we need you to speak directly into your phone. So take us off a of Bluetooth. Take us off a of speakerphone. Speak directly into your phone or we cannot continue. Uh, can you hear me now? So yeah. I'm very nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, please don't be nervous. We can hold hear on, you. Hold on, hold on. You a grown man and you're nervous, bro? So let's start with what's, well, let, what I'm about to do. Let's, I got let's start with the name of your city. Wait, 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 wait. Before you tell us anything, we need to know how old you are, sir. I'm 38 years old. Okay, go ahead. What's the, what's the situation? Amanda's listening right now. My girl, Amanda. And I want to say, Amanda, 
I love you. Nigga, why, this wait, wait, is wait, not wait. a fucking radio show. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, bro? <laughs> nigga, you <laughs> called in to confess your love to a bitch? Nigga, call yourself. Hey, why can't you just call Amanda directly? What the fuck? Oh, you know what I mean? So this oh is, my god! This is oh my god! Oh, yeah. Let him, let him cook, let him cook. I know that you call me sometimes, and I make you cry, so Amanda. Now you are my life. <laughs> Hey, man, you got a nice voice, bro. I hope she's listening, man. Oh, my God, dog. What the fuck is going on with this generation? Oh, oh, shit, God. verse two. Ver- verse two, you got verse two? I listen to you guys' show every Sunday, and I told her to listen in, and she's actually texting me right now and said yes. So I want to thank you guys. Yeah. You guys, help me do this. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you right now, dog, you're too invested into that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it all the way frank with you, bro. I'm gonna tell you the truth, dog. You need, if you too invested in this bitch, dog. You're the guy who will hurt yourself if this bitch leaves you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you to, to, to help you right now, dog. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help you with your little fucked up song, bro. You need to get some real help. This bitch got you by the balls, man. Do you understand that, dog? I'm trying to tell you, man. I, hey. I'm going to keep it real all the way to you. I know a lot of people going to look at it like, oh, he was just trying to serenade. So sweet. He was just trying to be sweet to her, but he's two feet in. And if you're a man, you're never fucking two feet in with a bitch. Ever. Hey, fuck all that, nigga. Amanda, I know I made you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, making payments. I'm making payments on it. Oh my god! I've got in my four F four one fifty, and I got down on my knees, and I said, "Amanda, will you marry me?" But when, <laughs> but when I came over to your place, man, I saw you with them colored boys. Yeah. <laughs> As I should hit the bottom. I just, I just, it's it's hard <laughs> to transition from the trenches. To YouTube, dog. <laughs> Nigga, this shit would not ever be allowed where I'm from, dog. This right here would probably get you fucked up. Amanda, I knew you liked to listen to the colors of on the internet. Wait, wait, she said yes to what? My proposal. Oh, wait, wait, did you propose? What did you do? Because we were too, we were too busy laughing. On your show. Oh, oh, we're not proposing to bitches on Real Game No Theory. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> this is not the fucking show. And you know what, niggas? Y'all niggas got us fucked up out here. <laughs> if y'all think that we are out here for this type of fucking shit, y'all got us all the way fucked up. This is what I'm saying. Y'all shouldn't allow this shit. You can't rule motherfuckers. You should not allow bitch ass shit like this. <laughs> nigga, I can't believe it. Nigga, we out here on a Sunday when we could be doing shit with our motherfucking life and you got country Alabama niggas out here calling. You got niggas sending fake emails at 50. I don't know nothing about. Then you got a fucking uh, nigga that swear he got overalls on right now calling in and proposing on our fucking show. What the fuck is going on? Overalls on? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you know, is, do you understand the level that we are on? You know how hard it is to speak to men on this level? Yo, they said they said Amanda's his cousin. That's fucked up. Bro. <laughs> Jeff Rowe. Oh, right there, Jeff. Oh, his first cousin. Does that matter? Oh, he yeah. Does that matter? Oh, wow. Bro, man, we good on calls. Do we got any calls, man, other than him? Nah, nah, we good on calls. <laughs> Hey, 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 honky tonk man, what's going on with you, man? Did, so Amanda said yes, you about to you about to spend the rest of your life with Amanda. That's what you I about just, to do. I, just, I just hope this ain't the part that we finally go viral. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 TMZ right uh, and Shay room listening uh, to this yet. Hey man, hey, hey, caller, ca- caller. Hey, did did you you know what? I'm gonna let you go, man. Um, I'm gonna get you another call, but congratulations with you and Amanda, man. I hope you guys are happy. All right, take care. All right, so we got <laughs> we got uh, Six two five six two. You're on live with the real game. No theory. She's watching. She's watching our show. 
Do you understand that she's going to figure him out very quickly? Facts. Um, uh, sorry. Real quick. Um, yeah, uh, 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 562, 562, name eight city. How can we help you? Go ahead. My name is Jaime from L.A. I'm 20 years old. Jaime, and L.A., 20 years old. All right, I, go ahead. Yeah, I need help with a, a text message from an ex-girlfriend. An ex-girlfriend? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, here's, all the, here's all the help you need. She's your ex for a reason. <laughs> Leave that shit on red and move on with your life. What's an, we have another question. <laughs> No. All right. Take it easy, brother. Uh, Leave that bitch alone. She, that, that's over. Hey, Iris. Iris. Yeah. Call in, Iris. Call right. in, Iris. I'm sorry, man. You just so quick with it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not mad, dog. I'm sorry, man. Miles is like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, woo. My bad, man. Hey, well, let me, let me just say this, guys. Okay. We don't recycle women. That's what Miles said. <laughs> we don't recycle women, facts. We don't recycle women around here. We, move on right, so we got 919. 919, you are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Hey, good, happy Sunday. This is Paris. Oh, this, I, is this Iris? Iris? No, it's a woman named Paris. Oh, that Paris. Like no, Paris. P-A-R-I-S. Oh, Paris. 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 Yeah, she was on my show yesterday. Oh, okay. What's up, Paris? Now you see there's red men out there. You see that, Paris? There are others like that. See? <laughs> My question to you guys is, um, why does it? Why do you have to be so verbally? Why does it have to be mean or harsh? Who's being mean? Who's being mean? What are we, okay, uh, Paris, can you give us an example of us being mean? <laughs> I mean. Okay, it may not have been the right time or the right situation for homeboy to propose to his woman, but come on, give him some great. Like maybe he was just trying to do something outside the box. Okay, so let so let me ask you this, Paris. Is it mean that we're telling him the truth, or would it be meaner for him to get with a woman who's not interested in him, who's gonna take advantage of him, who's gonna play him and disrespect him because she's not attracted to him because he's not being a man? Which one is worse? None of that's good, but how do we know that? No, we know that. That's because we, we were experts. We've been doing this for years. So we know that when men don't act like men, women don't respect them, and uh. then women mistreat them. And, and guess what? It's not even the woman's fault. That's what she's supposed to do. Women are supposed to stomp out weak men. So we're trying to teach men not to be weak. So we're actually being nice to him, Paris. But I'm saying, where does the line stop? The line, the line, the, what line? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like the, the the extension of okay, this is a man's man, and this is just an asshole man. Where where is the definition? The definition is created by that I, man. You don't you don't get to dictate none of that. N how you feel is irrelevant, Paris. <laughs> how you yeah. how you as one woman feels is irrelevant and you know what there's a reason why you called in other than the fact that you probably did a show with steve and all that there's a reason why you called in because if we was on on here being as nice it being the definition of nice that you think is nice it would just fly fly over the fucking radar and you wouldn't feel nothing but your pussy tingled a little bit and then you dialed the number <laughs> oh damn mouth open Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do that again. Miles, go, go back to that line again about the pussy thing and I'm, I'm ready. Go ahead, go ahead, Miles. Go, go, go. Your, 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 your pussy felt something when we was being mean and shit, and you, and you had to call in. You had to call in. That's what you had to do. I called in because I was like, golly, they harsh on homeboy. Exactly. So, so uh, caller, uh, what was your name? I'm sorry, caller, what was your name? Paris. 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 Yeah. All right, what's, what's up, Paris? It's 50. So, let me ask you something. Do you do you have you ever been with an aggressive man ever? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you was with him. Was you in a relationship with him? Did you just mess with him? What happened? I was married to him. You was married to him. Okay. So you said was <laughs> as if he's your ex, correct? Yes. Okay. So how long was you married to this man? Seven years. Seven years. Okay. So let me ask you this, Paris. In those seven years. When you think back to him, name some good things about this man. Give me three good things. He loved the kids. He dressed nice and he was cute. Okay, That's that, what I did. Oh, okay, yeah. So let me ask you this. What was the reason for the divorce? 
Because I was more man than him. What? You was more man than him. So explain that to us. It, give me give me an example of why was he more man? Why was you more man than him? I won't be, because I felt like if I can go and do two jobs, take care of the household, and your ass is sitting on the couch, and so I can was, come back and forth. So and it was he was he was being family. So was he? Was, okay, so was he just being lazy? Is that what you're saying? He didn't want to work. He worked, but he he didn't have the mentality of knowing how to provide for a family. Okay, so let me ask you this, and I'm I'm asking these questions to get to a, a certain ending. All right, so okay. with this, with this man that you claim that was aggressive, because most aggressive men make a lot of money, right? But when huh? you that, that you claim that was aggressive, what was aggressive about him? Exactly. He was the type of man that my way or the highway. And that I told him, if you're going to be that way, then you need to be, I paid a cost to be the boss up in the street. See, okay. that's where he, that's where you see, see what happened was, <laughs> what happened was he didn't have no game, right? So I, I, I know he didn't have no game because I, I could tell right now that you only valued him for what he was giving you financially. You actually, you, you named things about his dress and he was cute. And stuff like he and he and he he was a family man, but you didn't name his qualities like a woman that knows a good man. You know what they name off with? Oh, he was a great leader. Uh, he knew what he wanted in life. Uh, he he was ambitious. Uh, it it was like he knew exactly what to do in order for me to understand what I needed to do. So he didn't have the game. But what you liked, what you was attracted to was. He was a person that you said his way or the highway, meaning he actually understood that he wasn't supposed to conform to you. You were supposed to conform to him. He just didn't have the game to teach you anything. He didn't have the game to to have this uh, relationship go the way it should have went if he had the leadership qualities. Let, let, let me ask her this. So, Paris, would you say yeah. it's a two part that's a two-part question. Would you say he was inconsistent? And if so, how? Inconsistent in the sense of, I want to be that man you want me to be, but I don't know how to go about doing it. Mm. So now, so now, Paris, if your man would have called into our show, hold on, hold on. So if your man was to call into our show when y'all were married. So I went and left. Hold on, hold on, Paris, Paris. Now, if your man would have called into our show, while y'all were married, and we told him how to be a consistent man, would that be mean or would that be helping him out? Him out, but I don't know how much that would help me out. No, but that's what that's how it would have helped you out. If you have a man, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So you can give him all the advice he wants, but if he's not going to step up and do what he need to do, as right. A man, okay. right. The only okay. thing is this. Go, go ahead, Kizaki. So, 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 uh, Paris, so if he was to call in mm -hmm. and you was to hear us talk to him and we said, man, you acting like a bitch. You need to know how to be a man. Would you <laughs> think we were being mean to him or would you be rooting in the background? Yeah. Tell that motherfucker. How, how would that make you feel? <laughs> I mean, he needed. Uh -huh. Well, my question is, how the hell was, is your girlfriend going to feel the fact that five niggas got your attention on a Sunday morning? That's my, my, that's my question. My wife already know I'm calling her. She already told her. She has a girlfriend. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she she crossed over. She crossed over because she's she's more masculine than most men. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me get this right, Carla. You have a woman now in your life. You 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 the man in the relationship, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm the man so, in my house. So, house. You, so you you know you know why you come to a man's space? Oh, she know why. Yeah. You don't know why you do you know why you come to a man's space to hear men speak? Um just out of curiosity. M masculinity. I missed it. You, hey, so let me tell you what you miss. You miss masculinity. You miss someone talking to you directly and telling you what it is, and also making you feel like a woman. Mm. You miss that, don't you? 
You do. And you said it, you said it so quickly because because you didn't want to you didn't want to admit. I don't. I don't feel it. No, I'm good. So how how, how big is how big how big is the dildo that y'all be using? Because I know y'all still like to get penetrated. They scissor. They scissor. (laughs) How how big is the strap on? Because I know you still I know you still love to get penetrated, lying ass. Yeah, yo, yo, half of y'all fucking lesbians is lying. Let's be let's be clear. Let's be fucking clear. Cause if y'all still using dildos, that means you still love dick. That means you still love the presence of a masculine of masculine energy. Y'all niggas and is lying. You missed the thing that this slides on. I mm-hmm. know you do. You missed it. Don't front. You miss it. You just you you just can't find a nigga to agree with you. So wait, so wait, Paris. Let me ask you a question. So so have you always liked women, or was this after your marriage? You you started liking women. No, I've always liked women. I've always liked. Women. So 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 the whole time when you was with your husband, you were lusting after women. Uh, basically, yeah. Okay, and so so then why so why choose a man and instead of a woman at the beginning? Because I think I, what I messed up was when I got pregnant, I thought we could make it work because we had kids. So you never stay with somebody just because you have kids. Mm. It never works. Right, right. Mm. So, so the thing is, so, 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 Paris, do you do you actually think that uh, you would be able to be with a man? Nah, not not in the point that I am in my life. No. Why? Why is that? Because I like something soft and cuddly and something pretty with heels in my kitchen. Okay. So- <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, this is the thing. I don't think you could be with a man because in order for you to be with a man, right? In order for you to be with masculine energy. Yeah. I'm not about to do that. No, but that's what, that's what I'm saying. You you have to be feminine. And what I'm saying is you told us that you're the man in the relationship. So you can't be the man in the relationship and have a man in the relationship. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's, that's why you're not going to have a man. So caller, what makes you the man though of the relationship? I'm the breadwinner. I take care of the household and I make her cook. <laughs> hey, so right, right there, right there. This right is right goes, bro. This is where it goes. And you put on the strap on, correct? Okay. So, so. Well, we don't use the strap on, but go ahead. Okay, no, real quick, real quick. So, so, caller, could you say something? And, and, and I caught what you said about your, your ex and what you said now. You said, I'm the breadwinner. See, the, the mistake that both men and women make is saying that. Manhood is centered around who makes the most money in the house, which is absolute bullshit. Uh, being a man has nothing to do with your earning potential. Right. Okay, it has nothing to do with that. You well, being I, a breadwinner. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Hold on, caller. Caller. Hold on, caller. Hold on, real quick. Caller. Caller. Listen. 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 So, so you let's let's use Will Smith as an example. Right, he's most definitely the breadwinner in his marriage, but he got treated like a bitch. So, being the breadwinner or the person who pays all of the bills has nothing to do with real leadership or masculinity at all. And and, and that's the mistake because you said earlier about your ex husband, you said something about him paying the cost to be the boss. Like, if he wanted to have it his way, then he needs to be the man that's paying all of the bills. And the reality of it is this even if you paid all of the bills, you still wouldn't have respected him. Y'all got it. She's in it. Like, J, J. Roman. J. Roman just hit me, man. Says she's in a man's space to learn man's game to become a better man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Paris. Let me. Ask, so, you, do you have a? You have a son? Yeah. I have. A, yeah, I have two sons. Okay, so if your if your sons somehow become. Uh, you know, millionaires because you know they're on social media. They get a YouTube page. They're making fifty uh, to hundred hundred k a month. Are they now the man of the house because they mm-hmm. make more money? Um, it's it's more than just making the money. It's the way you carry your household. Okay, so then if it's more than just making money, then why are you saying that your ex wasn't a man because he wasn't making money? I'm saying that was when he asked me what bought what personally bothered me, that was one of my issues. Because you cannot, even if he was in a bullshit job, 
if you carry the household, like being a man and coming in and doing what you need to do and making me feel secure, where I can feel like I could trust in you to make sure we're good as a family, then that's different. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're, 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 okay, look, okay, okay, Paris. Okay, so, 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 let's get to the brass tacks of what was really going on. So, what was he doing or not doing? Let's take money out of, out of the equation for a second. What was he doing or not doing that didn't make you feel secure and safe? Uh, what he was not doing? He wasn't like nothing. He was doing nothing. Okay, we, we, we need you to be a little more specific. Okay. Okay, because you, you said you didn't feel secure and safe. What Exactly what was happening that made you feel that way, though? Yeah, safe in the sense of, oh, okay, if I pay this, it's not going to keep on. If I go here, you're not, if we get it, okay, say if we're walking down the street together, right? And somebody comes and try to rob us. I don't feel secure you're going to beat that nigga's ass to make sure he don't kill us. Why? Why, though? Why? What What happened to make you get to that, that point of thinking? What happened? Nothing happened personally, but he just carries his way like that. He could be aggressive with me, but the niggas out in the street, he can't be aggressive with. So you, you, all right, so check this out. You say you was with him for seven years. You gave him, he gave you two kids and you married the nigga. How come you ain't see all this before the seven years? <laughs> because I was a dummy. Oh, okay. Do you, have, do you have do you have custody of those kids? Yeah, because I was that, that one with the, oh, the, the moms, the, you know, Fathers of uh, uh, bishop, everybody's church, and everybody's like, "Hey, you have kids, you make it work." So wait, wait, real quick, real quick. So, 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 if if your man was walking with you and somebody tried to threaten you, and he beat his ass, is that him being mean or is that him helping you out? <laughs> huh? It's a being mean, but at least I'll feel a little safe with your ass walking down the street. Oh, it? So wait, so you need him to be aggressive so that you hold on, hold on. So you need him to be aggressive so you can feel safe, correct? So you can be helped, correct? Aggressive to safe to a point. No, everything no, 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 no. You need him to be aggressive. And put that energy out so that you can benefit. So when okay. guys call into the show and we're aggressive, we're aggressive to help them out. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. But okay, so we're not being mean. That's what we're trying to tell you. No, you know what? You know what? Listen, listen. It's it's to a point on your end because you can only impersonate a man to a point because you're a <laughs> woman. <laughs> That's why you coming over here to listen, listen. You're a woman trying to tell five men how to be men. This is why you're fucking single. <laughs> because your relationship with that woman don't make no don't mean nothing you know, to me. You know, you know what she need? You know what you need, caller? What? You need some dick. Jeez, <laughs> and, see, and, this, and, and see, when you go dick deprived, dick when you're dick, dick when you're dick deprived, when you're dick deprived, it takes away a piece of your soul. You feel empty inside. And so right now, because you are dickless, <laughs> you feel empty inside. And what you need to do, let me tell you what you need to do. You need to let your, your little friend, your partner, see, that's your partner right there. That's your partner. That, that's a partner. Exactly. <laughs> so you need to tell your partner that you need to involve a man in a relationship now because you feel empty inside. Oh my God. And a man, remember, a man not only mentally fills you up, but we physically fill you up. Okay? Is a gift. Hey, so you need it. You cannot tell me those seven years of dick you didn't like. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, it stopped after three years, honey. Okay, those three. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, we know what it's emotional sometimes. So those three years, you enjoyed dick, didn't you? Uh, it was okay. Oh. See, no, no, no. And I want to let men know. Hey, hey, real quick. I, I want to tell the chat. I want to tell the chat this right now. This is why I always say, never wait for a woman to be accountable. It's never going to happen. You exactly. just continue to run your program the way you need to run your fucking program, and you will never need to be accountable. Exactly. That's a fact. So, so, so to, to fit, stop to fit. waiting on that shit. 
and, and call it because you said after a couple of years you lost interest. And what it really was was you lost respect for him. That's what it was. And and that's why you lost interest. And this happens to all women. All women, it's the same thing. If they look even if they're sexually attracted to you and they enjoy you, once a woman loses respect for you, it will impact her desire to want to fuck you. So, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, Zach. Go ahead. But, but the fifth point, you do need a stiff phallus. To stroke your sugar wall. Yeah, and you need you need you need to be in there violently. It needs to go in there. Yeah, it needs to go in there violently. But but call her. What I hey, you got custody of your kids? Yes. Okay. So okay. is there is there a reason why the father doesn't have custody of the kids? Uh, he just didn't never stepped up to the plate. He couldn't. Okay, okay. All right. So he's a loser. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all right, I understand that. I'm just saying in general, in this situation, you got to understand. Your the the sons are looking at you on how you move in order to process how women are going to move in their lives when they get older. So you got to remember if you're trying to move like a man, these kids are going to think, "Oh my God, is this how women are really supposed to be acting?" You got to remember that. Well, my, what you're giving off to your sons, they're, what that, you're giving off to your sons mentally. No wife with three kids. You said what? I said my youngest son has a wife with three kids. He's a veteran. Okay, and they're old men now. They're older men. He's a good man, I said. Yeah, okay, they're older men. They're not young no more. He's two, yeah, he's 28. So how is it that it was seven years? With, how old are you? Yeah, how, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 54. You are, let me tell you what happened to you. <laughs> this explains a lot. <laughs> this explains a lot. See, uh, see, when, I used to bowl back in the day. I used to bowl a little bit, right? And I was trash. Yeah, and see, this is what happened because I'm a winner, right? And I couldn't stand the ball going to the left or going to the right and hitting the gutter ball. So, you know, I said, you know what? Fuck this game. I'm not playing this game no more because I want to win. So, because you've been losing with Dick all of your life, you said, fuck it. I'm going to try. Pussy out. That's what you said. <laughs> shout out! Shout out to yeah. all that's just not lucky enough to find good dick and leadership. It's, yeah, it's that's what it is. Shout yeah. out, man! Shout out to them. That's that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Is see see caller see you, she, she, you didn't, she didn't she she didn't say no. She knew. No, she, it's true. This it it. fifth, you you're exactly right. She literally took her balls and went home. Hey Paris, listen, we got some other calls, but you, I, I'll give you the last word before yeah. I let you go. Yeah, I just want to say, my son, he turned out to be a wonderful man, and he That's came good. his home, sure. and he um, and his kids love him, and they look up to him, Great. and I'm very proud of him. Awesome. Let's just hope. Let's just hope his wife doesn't leave him to get a woman late in life. Fantastic, right? So, so before we hang up on her, Paris, I just want to hear you admit it. You miss the energy of masculine men, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Say it. Nah, I'm good. Sure. Boom. Wait, wait. How was the, how was the call? How was the call for you? It was okay. It was okay. Oh, she, she, I'm she, not going to back down because y'all. She, 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 she wanted one of these stubborn lesbians. God. No, no, yeah, she, well, she felt she felt this masculinity touching every part of her body. Right. That's why she stayed on this phone so long. Stayed on this phone so long. Fact. And she's going to replay it. No, and she's going to she's going to use these. The guys that are battling my my belief. Why am I going to do that? Yeah, it's turning. It's turning the horn. She's, she's getting. I don't, if I don't agree with it, Paris. A woman doesn't have. Any, you don't have any. I'm about to say that. You know what? I'm fine. Fuck with my nigga, man. <laughs> you ain't got no beliefs, lady. <laughs> you made to help, Paris. We appreciate you, man. Uh, not not when not many women call in. So when women call in, we appreciate y'all. So uh, thanks for the call. All right. Yeah, she was you tough. Know. She was tough. Right. A lot of these men out here, though. All right, take it easy. Yeah, at, at least she was trying her best to impress. Yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then she didn't take what we were saying all hard. She laughed it off. She wasn't right. even. A lot of you men be like, "What'd you say, nigga? <laughs> What's up, Steve? I can't believe." What's up? All right, we got. And, and, we got uh, go ahead. Go ahead. 
No, I just want to say this. If she was giggly like a feminine woman would be. Exactly. So, so when you guys call in giggling, we don't like that shit. <laughs> when women do it, it's acceptable. You niggas know. Y'all got it, man. All right, so we got 647. 647, you are on live with the Real Game 03 panel. Name, Age City. How can we help you? 647, go ahead. Yo, man, oh, it's hey Rekka. Taylor. Hold hey, on. Oh, 647, area code 647. Oh, hey, you can you mic, Hello? Yo, Hello? I'm, I'm, Hello? I'm only talking to 647. Area code 647. Hello? Hello? Yo, hang, hang up on this motherfucker, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, the, the, whoever 647 is, that's who we're talking to. Whoever is not 647, just put yourself on mute and we'll get to you after that, okay? All so right, whoever 647 is, that's who we're talking to. All right. All right, the other one, the other one hung up. So 647, 647, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, age, city, how can we help you? 647, go ahead. What up, man? It's Record 27 Toronto. Okay, what's it's up? It's a bonnet motherfucker. The bonnet motherfucker. Okay, great. But, um, yo, Lucario, I did the week shit that you told me to do, mm. right? I did your homework. Mm. Um, Man, like this shit, I, I can't lie, act like I don't see it. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm charging a lot of bitches to the game and shit like that. Congratulations. You're all right. You're right. You're right. Still, because I'm seeing where like a lot of the time could have been wasted, you know. But you know, you know what it got me to do? It got me to start going up to women like in the because now because I have to charge so many of the dating app and the Instagram bitches and shit. I had to start going out more and talking to more women. So I started using direct game in person and shit. And I was kind of afraid to tell a girl straight up about sex in person. Well, then you can't talk about the game then. Please don't disrespect this panel talking about shit you don't know about, man. You, you're doing shit, but you ain't, do, you ain't in the fucking game talking like this, dog. Indirect. What do you mean? So, what, so, what, you, what you were scared of, caller? Fuck. Bro, I'm not trying to get the fucking cops called on me in the fucking mall. Oh my God. Uh, so, uh, yo, yo. Rekka, Rekka, Rekka. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The three and, women of the day. Say that again? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? I, said I did it with three I did it with three women the other day. What in the you? mall and shit like that. Did what with three women? It didn't work. It did huh? Did what with three women? What'd you do? So I went up to three women and I was trying to get I was trying to talk to them. What they basically were asking me what their intentions was, I was basically telling them to fuck. But you know, they was kind of just like I'm good. So what's the problem? With that? Did you get did you get arrested? Did did the cop did the cops come? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so what are you talking about? So what's, 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 what's you know cops gonna get called on? What are you talking about? But it was I was saying I was scared to do it before, but now I'm seeing what you're seeing. It's not that bad. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. All right, so what's so what's your question, uh, Rekka? What's your question? So it, anyway, now nah, I'm just calling it to let you know not the shit worked. Like I feel, I feel what you were saying, mm -hmm. and I was seeing how like I was wasting a lot of time and shit like that, and letting women dick, dick me around and shit like that. So actually, right. no, 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 hold on, let me change that. Letting women, let's say, jerk me around, and shit. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, well, listen, at least, at least you're, at least you're learning something. That's good. You know what I'm saying? How are women jerking you around when you're when you're disingenuous and you're right? They should. Yo, what, yeah. yo, what's going on in your background, bro? I'm not working shit. That's the lunch bell. So this nigga, go back to me. Let me let me say this. I, I came in. I came in on the last telling of that where he's talking about women jerking you around. If you deal with women strictly yeah. on your terms, you ain't never got to worry about that. Yeah, to worry about that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Never worry about I'm, it. Seeing it. I'm seeing it. Exactly. So 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 at least at least you're starting to to learn something. You feel me? So that's good. But but take ass back to work. We ain't trying to get you fired. Go ahead. All right, man. Peace. All, All right, right, peace. Man. Um, I think we had, I think we had uh eight eight oh one or yeah, something. So Taylor, call back. Call back, Taylor. Eight oh three, eight oh three. Yeah, I think that was Taylor. Call back. Okay. Are we good on calls, Miles? Yeah, we good on calls right now. Okay, let me let me let me say this because I want to clarify something. All right, so we got eight oh three, eight oh three. You're on live with the Rogan no three panel. Name eight city. How can we help you? Oh hi, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, my name is Taylor, and um, you said name, age. Okay, and I'm 28, and I'm from South Carolina. Okay, cool. All right. So, okay. so, so, yeah, what's so the, what was the what was the what was that you were saying in the chat earlier? 
Yeah, so basically I was sitting, I was sharing information in regards to the nice guy topic. I do agree that I don't think that guys should be nice, but they should be direct. They should be able to be honest with a woman. Um, also, in regards to the Amanda situation, I saw that the guy was making a nice proposal to someone that he cared about. I don't think that if so, I think that if someone says, if that, if that woman says yes to the proposal, then what, wouldn't that mean that she understands his nature or understand how he how he operates? Okay, so no. I don't think that so, have no. to, if, well, if I can just my point out, I just want to make sure I'm not caller, being misunderstood. Caller, caller. Mm -hmm. well, first and foremost, the guy was trolling. That's what that was. Um, but also, but also, no, call, call her, listen, call her, listen, let me go, 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 let listen, first of all, he was trolling, now, also, yeah, you that. should know, you should know, like we know, there are women who accept proposals from men they really don't like all the time, just because a woman agrees to marry well, a dude, he, he mean, call her, call her, call her, call her, you do, you're doing a whole lot of talking and not enough listening, listen, hold on, I'm gonna give you the floor, Right, we know that women settle for men all the time, so it's not a win for a woman to say yes. Y'all got it. Okay. So, so wait. So, um, make so, sure. Uh, I'm sorry that you were done. Oh no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to make sure I'm not misinterpreting, or I'm not. I want to make sure I'm answering your questions clearly, and I apologize. I naturally talk fast, so basically, I. I guess I'm trying to figure out how can we measure that, how often women accept proposals from guys that they don't actually care about or want to, or uh, see a future with. How well, do you well, measure I'll that? I'll tell you this. I'm going to show you how to measure it, okay? So this is how you measure it, right? So, <laughs> you have to, okay, have, let me ask you this question because this maybe this will make clarify it to you. Have you ever had mm -hmm. a guy do a grand gesture to you like maybe on the first date he bought you like a bunch of flowers and a gift or you know he did something extravagant like have you ever had a guy just go all out for you yes okay now usually when guys do that right guys usually do that because they're overcompensating because they really want you to like them and be interested in them now the reason why they do that is because they're usually the type of guys who have a hard time attracting women. So in most cases, if they're doing that, that means the woman generally, in most cases, aren't really that interested in him. So the fact that the guy would call up on the show and do a grand gesture to sing to her and propose to her on the show essentially says that he is probably in a situation where he's overcompensating because that woman is not really that interested in him. Does that make sense? Um, I just want to say something there. So isn't it normally when it comes to dating, a man is usually courting the woman. So in the courting, well, what I'm, when I say that, I mean, the, the reason why you guys are even on a date with each other is because you have, you guys have an interest in each other. If that woman, from what, from what I experienced, from, from what I'm seeing, my, well, my, my mom, my mom was married, my, is married. My two sisters are married. So I'm, I'm going based off of what I've seen. They have, they're, they're married with children, you mm. know, nine plus years still going. So I've seen that whenever a guy does this, it doesn't have to offer it mean that they're trying to over overcompensate. These are just certain practices that are used in dating. Like whenever I was, whenever I'm dating, I, whenever I had my woman, my ex-boyfriend, I bought him, like he would, we would get do stuff for each other. We went to, I don't know if you guys know this place called California Dreamy. He wasn't working at the time, and I bought him something. I bought him his meal. And this is not to say, like, okay, so we're just going to go back and forth buying each other things. Okay, let me ask you this. Hold on. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Thanks. At what point in the relationship, when before when you first guys first met, at what point did you have sex? Mm -hmm. That was a minute. From, well, no, no. Yeah, that wasn't like a minute from then. Like, we were... No, I'm saying, when I'm saying when y'all first met... <laughs> So, hold on, hold on. Tell her, tell her, tell her. I'm saying from the first time y'all went on a first date, uh, how long did it take for y'all to have sex? Um, that probably was around, I'll say like two and two or two and a half uh, months. Okay. okay, now hold on. Did he try to have sex with you within those two months and you told him, let's wait? Um. So with, with my experience, of course he was, you know, that, that was an interest there, but I wanted to wait. 
he never pushed me. He Call never her. made me feel uncomfortable. So, 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 so what you're saying is essentially, he to, wanted, hold on. So he wanted to have sex, but you told him let's wait. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Like, boom. So this is what we're talking about, Taylor. This is exactly what we're talking about. What we're saying is the guy that you're dealing with, and most guys, what they're doing is they're acquiescing to the woman. So that means you're leading. If you're leading, he oh. likes you more than you like him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if he, if he tells you, if he tells you, hey, I want to have sex. If you're interested in him like that sexually, you will be having sex. The fact that you told him to wait means that he is willing to follow you. If he's willing to follow you, that means he is not the guy that you really, really want. Uh, uh, Taylor, just let me ask you this quick question so I can understand your, your, your mindset. Yeah. Are you looking for a leader or a partner? Tell me, are you looking for a lead? And please just choose a word. Do not mm -hmm. give me an explanation or a disclaimer. Yeah, well, are you choosing a leader or a partner? Are you looking for a leader or a partner? Are you looking for a leader or a partner? Are you looking for a leader or a partner? Why is she? Oh, why is she nuance. No, okay, there's no nuance. nuance. There's no, no nuance. nuance. Are you looking for we're a leader adults. or a partner? Choose Guys, one. We're adults. You see, that's why, that's why I don't. Tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. Tell her. It's real simple. It's real simple. Are you, it's, it's, are you looking for a leader or a partner? That's all we're asking. Call it, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Pick, pick leader or partner, or I'll have to hang up on you. I can't even say nuance. I was <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why I'm sorry. Guys, guys, this is why you have to strictly deal with women on your terms and always dictate oh. the pace and flow. Because yes. these women she, sometimes don't know what the fuck they want, but as the man, you got to show them what the fuck they want. Is she still on the call? Is she still on the phone? I'm sorry. I got rid of her. I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and, and you know what's you know what's, what's bad about that? How many oh, motherfuckers you. allow that? Yeah. You know, what I mean? you know how many motherfuckers are listening to her and it sounds like you're a woman? You guys allow that <laughs> she shit. Said, she said she said leader before you hung up. This is she said. She, she's lying. She don't want a leader. She's lying. Because if yeah. you wanted a leader, you would have fucked him when he wanted to fuck you. And also, yeah. you would have followed the lead on here. A exactly. woman who wants to, a, a follower will follow a man. Look, you called into a show. You know we're leading this show. You would have followed and answered the direct question when it was asked to you. Exactly. Right. This is what I'm saying. Look, a woman needs to do things on your time, men. Don't let them do it on their time. Exactly. You don't allow them to do that shit. They're dictating terms then. Dictate your terms. I, I dog, I'm telling I don't know how y'all deal with that. That right there. <laughs> but that's a perfect and, example and, of what we tell you. She's trying to learn mm -hmm. to be in order, right. but she's not in order. Right, no nuance. We can't have any nuance, guys. We're adults. She we said, let's, she said let's restart. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You know, she just proved that she don't want to lead her. That's how you know women are lying. You look at their actions. Miles asked her, "Hey, do you want a leader or a partner?" And look how long it took her to answer the question. Which means, if she said that she wanted a leader after all that, she's lying because if she wanted a leader, she would have followed the lead. Exactly. And Miles had to get aggressive with her in order for her to really understand. Like, come on. And, and I just I just want to point out because if you paid attention to how she was moving, um, she wasn't decisive. Mm, at all. Right? She she couldn't make up her mind. And this is why, guys, this is why women hate guys that are like them. When you're yeah. passive and you're indecisive like they are, and you're chaotic. It's literally two feminine motherfuckers having a conversation. Mm -hmm. right? so, and, so I need guys to understand. Yeah. See, women think they want that. They, that's why the, yeah. the nice guy does finish yeah. last because women eventually get tired of a guy who's Taylor. Like, call back, Taylor. Call right. back. Right, Taylor, call back, Taylor. We we go we go we go, we gonna have you. We go. We need a submissive. Yeah. When you call in, Taylor, we need you to be submissive. When you call in, we need you yeah. to be more ears than mouth. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You can't get understanding if you're running your mouth, Taylor. You got to be quiet and listen. You got to do more listening than talking. Call in. We actually have a call right now. It's 647-647. You're on live with the Real Game No 3 panel. Name, age, city. How can we help you? Uh, name, Dwayne, age 32, city, uh, Mississauga, Ontario. All right, what's going on with you? 
Um, I just wanted to call in Miles because um, I was, I'm trying to get in touch with you about the soap. Okay. Are you still making and selling soap? Because yes, sir. I ordered I ordered two bars. And I was just I'm just like you know curious as to like you know what's happening. It's been like a month or so, so I'm just trying to trying to get in touch with you because I'm really interested in the product. Okay, so, sir. Was, please hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna need you to email me, bro. I don't understand. Yeah. Why would you yeah. call? Yeah. call yeah. That's why I called in. Okay, D- make double check the email. Miles in the game at Gmail. Email me at Miles in the game at Gmail. All right, bro. Yeah, but caller, you have bigger problems than that. Why don't you call in and get an opportunity to help yourself now versus asking about that gro- those two great bars of soap, sir? <laughs> right. No, but I mean, but 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 Steve, my my whole journey on my whole journey, you know, getting 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 myself right as a man, you know, what I'm that that all really just started over a year ago, and I've just been steady working on myself. Uh-huh. You know, so I listen. Every, I listen every week. I take notes. You know, I, I watch my fireplace, and I go out there, and I I, I move like a man. That's it. Yo, caller, email That's me. It. Email me. Email me right now. Okay, email me right now, and and I'll take care of you. All right. Miles okay. in the game at Gmail. Miles in the game at Gmail. Okay. Yeah, and check your spelling. And yeah, check the spelling on that because I've been selling soap for a minute, and I don't, I don't, I don't miss orders, and I don't just leave people hanging, bro. So th- that's why, that's why y'all need to get me on the on the on the on the email, bro. Y'all can't be calling live, you know, you you putting a bad name on the product out here, like you know what I'm saying? That's, no, that's no, weird no, shit, no, man. No, not at all, not at all. I'm just inquiring because I all right. Well, email me right now. Email me right now, homie. Just go ahead and email me. All right, and, 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 and see what April said right there. April's on point right there, man. You know what I mean? The customer right. service customer questions, service man. Service. This is a hundred percent. Man, God damn it. I, I feel the same way, dog. I feel mm-hmm. Damn, man. Hey, man. hey, real quick, Steve, can you bring up I just fucking saw it. What time was it? Taylor made, Shout out she April, made a comment yeah. talking about mm-hmm. talking about uh, uh we're over talking to students. Um what on, who's over talking? Who's, oh, no, who's it's, over- it's above that. It's above that. It's above that when she's talking about we're over talking to students. But but you never got to bring it up. Let, let me just say this. We're all talking students. Here, yes, he said that's teachers. Why are they over talking to students or something like that? Oh my god! Uh, at, at twelve, at 1240, 1240, 1240. Mm. Say as a teacher, why would you want to over talk to student? As a student, you should be listening. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Zaya, right. I'm gonna say this in love. Fuck what you think. You are trying to get what we the fuck at? No, right. no, 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 no. Zay is fine. Zay is fine. No, Zay is fine. Okay, I'm yeah, Taylor Taylor made. Taylor made. I think we got Taylor back. I think we got Taylor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we got Taylor back. 803? 803, is that Taylor? Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, it's Taylor. I'm back. All right, I'm going I'm to shut the fuck up because I can't take it, but y'all go ahead. <laughs> so, 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 Taylor, and, and I need you to understand, like, if you're, if you want, like, we're asking you simple questions, right? So, like, if we was on the couch, do you think I would tolerate you not answering a direct question like that? Do you think that would be okay? I'm sorry. Can I? I want to make sure I'm able to speak now. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you, yeah, go ahead. Go. So, whenever I guess you guys shared that I was not being immediately responsive to the answer, that's because. I was trying to get an understanding of what you guys meant as leadership or what do those things entail. That's why I was asking. I didn't want to say leadership and I'm not understanding what that means to you guys. That's that's the reason why I was asking. Okay, so what what the appropriate what what you what you're supposed to do then is answer the question first and then follow it up with a question. Right. Okay. So, so if, if, I, if, I don't understand, and I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know somebody else was talking. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry, okay, it's the echo. So, my thing is, why would I answer a question if I don't fully understand the definition? Okay, 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 hold on, Taylor. See, see, and, and, and this is why communication breaks down in relationships, right? Um, because a lot of times, not everything requires an explanation. Like what 50 was saying, some things may require clarity. So when someone is asking you, do you want a leader or a partner, answer the question based on your meaning or understanding of what it means to you. Sorry. Sorry, that makes sense. Okay, based off of my own understanding, that's why I was asking for more information. 
So yeah. So you don't need more information. Just answer the question. Answer the question. Just answer the question. And then and then hold on, caller. I got you, caller. I got you. Caller, I got you. Then once you answer the question and, and you get to talking about mm -hmm. what a, what a partner or a leader is, then the, the clarity can come and any confusion can be cleared up. Right, because because you got to understand, sometimes people look at things a different way. This is again, this is how communication works. A, a lot of people, a lot of people have their own definition of what something means. Like an example would be this: when I say, so you're doing, you're doing a whole lot of talking, Taylor, Taylor, baby girl. See, I, this this is why you ain't got a man right now. You don't know how to listen. Okay, be be, be quiet for a second, please. Be quiet. Be quiet. See, this this is what happens, right? When people are talking, you you need to to listen to what they're saying, not listening to respond, but listening to understand. Does that make sense? So and so, let me say this before you before you before you chime in, before you chime in, before you chime in. One of my favorite words is deference, which means humble submission and respect. If you were I, if you, I'm, I'm gonna give you a hypothetical. If you and I were on a date and we were talking, and, and I said to you, I don't deal with women who don't show me deference. And I explained to you that it means humble submission and respect. How would you take that? Um, no, absolutely. The, those are those should be like basic values that men and Ooh. women should share share with each other. You got no 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 hey, no 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 as a woman you're gonna humbly submit to me. I ain't submitting to you. It's not okay. Uh, okay, if that's what you're if you're talking about okay, then overall just, okay, submit. I'm not going to submit. I would I would like I would submit to someone who I feel like should be submitted to. I'm not just going to submit to a person because they ask because what have that what has that guy shown me that I, what have they shown me that I should submit to them? Okay, so 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 Taylor showing so me Taylor. that I should submit to you, I would definitely do that. So Taylor, perfect. So 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 are you saying that when your guy wanted to have sex with you and you told him no, let's wait, you were not willing to submit to him, right? Early on. But that, but that's what I'm saying. You're, but you're saying you're not because submitting means being under the mission. His mission was to have sex. You said no, so that means you're not submitting to him. Why would I have? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. Do you have a job? Yes. Okay. When you went into your job and got hired, and your boss told you, "Hey, do this and this," did you tell him, "Let's wait," or did you just do it? A boss and a husband is different. What? No, it's the same <laughs> thing. That's what. That's, that's the, boss, the disconnect. Boss, husband is different. Those are different roles. What are you talking Taylor, about? That's the disconnect. It's the same thing. Yeah. Your husband is your boss. Is the same as a husband. Yes. Yes. Taylor wants a partner. She doesn't want a leader. She wants exactly. A so, so Taylor, you're saying you want a partner. You don't want a leader, then, right? I want to be equal to somebody. Taylor, I'm what does your boyfriend have to say about this? Synonymous to you <laughs> asking the question and answering it. You won't. I'm trying to explain to you what hey, I'm trying to say is. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Okay. You know what? I got. I got her. I got her. Taylor, why? Why you searching for a response? Are men and women equal in a relationship? No, I think that women can play different roles in a relationship. Okay. So what was you about to say, though, Taylor? You said you wanted to explain to us. Go ahead. So, yeah, um, if I can remember, it was a whole bunch of stuff we were talking about. So if, okay, so if it's early on, like really early on tomorrow in the relationship, or is, okay, whenever I say early on, like it's like the talking phase. I don't feel comfortable having sex with someone in the talking phase because how do, how do I know that this person just doesn't want to have sex and go? Whenever you uh, are learning okay, the person, there it is. There uh, it is. There it is. There it is. No, so, 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 there's nothing wrong with not. There's nothing wrong with that. What do you want, both you and your you? What do you want your girl and yourself to feel comfortable having sex? You don't want to. Just, you don't want her to just have sex because you want sex. You want y'all to both be into having sex with each other. Doesn't that make so, so, sense? So, Taylor, Taylor. So, I hear what the problem is. So. Really, what you're doing or what you were trying to do is barter 
you was trying to barter your pussy. Really? And so what that what what you're saying is you're equally attracted to him enough to have sex with him. And you said, you know what? My 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 pussy is valuable so uh to him because I can see that he wants it. But what you did was you bartered it trying to make him be around for things that you felt like he should be around for more than just your pussy, right? No, I no. I want to know that this person likes me more for, more than for just my Taylor, vagina. Taylor, I, Taylor. See, that's not you like me for that, but there's other things. Taylor, answer this question. You you're, like you're, me for more than just that. But, I, I was Taylor, just Taylor, more than just that. Taylor, you're, you're getting caught up on a word that 50 is using, but he's right. So so this is what you're doing. You're saying, okay, now, 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 what I'm saying, take take your emotions out of it and just listen. Hey, baby girl, you need to be quiet for a second. Please, you need to be quiet. You need to be Taylor. You got to listen. Let's listen. Listen. Right? I was answering so, his question. Okay, no, you, we, you already answered it, but but sometimes yeah, you, 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 you... You answered it. Yeah, yeah, you, so, but, but sometimes you talk too much. Now, now, listen, listen. Listen. Be quiet for a second. So this is what you said. Okay, You said, I'm making him wait because I don't want to feel like he's using me for sex. I want to feel like he's going to be around for more than just sex. So what you're doing is you're bartering. And this is what you're saying. Okay. And I talked about this on a live. See, a lot of times men and women want the same thing. We just want them in different orders. So, so let, let me explain what I mean. Let me now, now listen to what I'm saying. So, so sometimes we're saying as men, we want sex on the front end. And if you're worthy of it, you might get some other shit on the back end, which is non-sexual intimacy and time and attention. What you're saying is, I want that on the front end, and if I think he's going to stick around, I'll give him the ass on the back end. But let me, hold on, let me say this and I'll pass it to you. And I want both men and women to understand this. Compatibility means existing in harmony without conflict. If you meet a man and he is letting you know he wants to fuck, and you don't, and you're trying to make him wait, that means you guys are not compatible. That's what that means. That means that, that you should leave. Absolutely agree. If you if this guy says that, like, hey, man, I want to have sex with you right now, and I yes. don't feel comfortable, it's like, all right, man. Let me get the, let yes, me get you should bounce. Yeah, you should bounce. Yeah. And, and, and let me say this real quick. A man should never get mad at a woman who says, no, I want to wait. And a woman should never get mad at a get mad at a guy who says, "I ain't waiting. If you ain't trying to do this now, we ain't fucking with each Agreed. other." Nobody should be mad at each other. It should be we're not compatible, and you move Agreed. on. Agreed. I absolutely, one hundred percent agree. If you and that person are not on the same page when it comes to waiting, or if you about the time that you guys want to have sex, then leave. I think that y'all okay. both should disperse because if I don't feel comfortable, but that's something that you want, I don't want you to wait around. But a man like, well, when is she gonna have sex with me? Just leave and find someone, someone who is great who wants to do that. So, so, so tell her. So tell her. Shouldn't your man have left you then? Tell her. Shouldn't he have left you? Yeah. The thing is, if he, but that's the, that's exactly that. He should have left, but he stayed. So if he already had sex after the two and a half months, then he. I mean, he could have yeah. left, but he didn't leave. You know why he didn't leave? You know why he you know why he didn't leave, Taylor? Why is that? He mm. didn't leave, but he didn't leave because he didn't have the standards to leave. Mm. See, this is why this is why when you're dealing with a real man, when you really, when you're dealing <clears throat> when you're dealing with a real man, we're not compromising our standards. We're not gonna give you our manhood because nothing is worth that. So what I'm saying to you is Taylor, is that the opportunity is there. Have you how are you say you're 28, right? So you you you've never experienced a sexual a, a, a strong sexual attraction to a man enough to give yourself to him sooner than two and a half months. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I have had I have had like a situationship before. I'm a okay. I have had a situationship. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Taylor. You said you had a situationship. Okay. We have different relationships. Yeah. Okay, but, but okay. So you had a situation ship, Taylor, but I want I want you to acknowledge what I'm saying to you. There was no reason for that man to wait because the same guy that you had a situation ship with never waited. You were sexually attractive. 
you were sexually attracted to him. If you're sexually attracted to him, look, real men are not going to judge you for the time frame whether you have sex or not. You are used to these men that are going to judge you based upon how soon you're having sex or how often or in, 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 in all else, they're going to just say, hey, they're not honest on the front end and say, hey, this is going to be a casual thing. Look, I'm telling you, when you get a real man in your life, well, you, like those concerns are never a concern. This is why I'm telling you, you're going to miss out on a real one waiting. And I know you're with this guy or whatever you, he waited two months. I'm telling you, real men. He was, I enjoyed my relationship. I enjoyed the relationship. Like that, like our relationship was great. We had a fun why did time. Break up? This is my boyfriend. This, mm. Why did y'all break up? So and who broke up with who? Oh, no. I mean, we were going to college. I was going to a different college and he went to a different college. Okay, baby girl, so why did y'all break up? Who broke up? God yeah. damn. Okay, so 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 y'all agree to mutually oh, part I mean, ways? I'm sorry, can you repeat that Taylor, for me? Taylor, Taylor, listen, 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 listen to me. I can't hear anybody <laughs> like hey, uh, update Lucario. I she mean, had sex with several men prior to two and a half months. Oh yeah, I, I knew that. So Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. You guys still there? Taylor. Yeah, can, can you hear us? I can't hear Taylor. Anybody. Taylor, can you hear us? Can you I, hear us? Yeah. No, I don't like having sex that like that. No, I don't believe in that. As I said, it mom married, sisters married. I don't believe that. I mean, because women can do. They, I mean, you know, I'm not that type of girl. That's not me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Taylor. 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 Like Taylor, Taylor. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. All women. I need mm -hmm. all women to listen. The only guys who judge you guys or guys who have no standards. Look, let me tell you something. Every relationship I've been in, the women started off as fuck buddies, right? All of them. So so the, the problem is when you say you're not that type of girl, you're looking at the judgmental nature of some men in society to believe if you have sex quickly, you have no value as a woman. Why would you want to be with a man who would judge you? Some guys don't. You said it. Okay, listen to me. Taylor, Taylor, listen to me. Listen to me. Why would you want to be no, with a man? Hold on, hold on, Zach. Zach, do you know she's responding in the in the chat room? She can't multitask. Is that there? Is, you, oh, you, yes. You're responding oh, in the chat room while we're on the phone. Bro, hang up on her, dog. Oh, I didn't know. Well, I don't. I don't. Hang, hang, hang up on her, mom. Hang up. We can't have that. <laughs> Taylor, can you hear us? Can you hear me? I mean, I mean, that's fine. If I'm just a caller calling in, I was I'm interacting in in, in getting entertainment. Oh, you can't do both. Go. You cannot be on the phone and still be on the phone. So Taylor, 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 can you can, Taylor? Can you, you can hear me right now, right? Disrespectful. Taylor, that wasn't that I wasn't supposed Taylor, to. Taylor, can you hear me right now? Yes or no? Yeah, I can hear you good. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I want to say this. Remember, you first called in the first time and said, what was wrong with that guy proposing, correct? Yeah. Right, and making a grand gesture. What we're saying is the guy who called in to make the grand gesture is the same guy you made, th the same type of guy you made wait two months. Two and a half. Two and a half. You understand what I'm saying? So what we're teaching guys is don't be the guy Who's going to wait two months? That's what we teach guys. Exactly. Don't be that nigga. Let Taylor be single for the rest of her life. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're telling we're telling guys to be the guy that you were in a situation with. And we're telling guys to have it on their terms. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be single for long, and that's by choice. So oh my god, why do y'all want to be even Okay, hey, hey, hey. It's a bit here's, weird. I'm not gonna be single forever. I'm 28 years old. Here's, here's, here's the bottom line. Go find a sucker that you can run because a man will never put up with your I, fucking I, 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 I want a person with self-esteem. Nope. I don't want someone who... No, you don't. You can't. You women out there can find a sucker. So, Taylor, let me ask you a question. If a guy has self-esteem, would he wait two months for sex? If he, if he, if, if me and him were on the same page, he and he didn't want to have, and he wanted to have sex, and I didn't, I would say like, hey, you know what? 
I, that's why I literally, I literally typed in the chat earlier. I said, I don't want a nice guy. I want someone who will be honest because some nice guys are like wolves and sheep. No, no, Taylor, I asked you, you as a guy. No, no, Taylor, you're not answering the question. You want to have sex with Taylor, you're not answering the question. Don't find a girl that has sex. Taylor, you're not answering the question. The question is, would a guy who has high self-esteem wait around two months for sex? Yes or no? That doesn't make any sense. You see how you're forming that that question? That doesn't make any sense. That makes absolute sense. Make sense. So, no. Taylor, if, Taylor, if I said to you, I want to have sex with you now, Taylor, if I said I want to have the sex with you now, and you said, no, let's wait, and I waited for you, does that mean I have high self-esteem or low self-esteem? Because I, I want something, but I'm willing to wait around for you to give me what I want. Is that high self-esteem or low that's self-esteem? That's not a self-esteem thing. That's not. Uh, that's what, not what is it, Taylor? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it so is. what is it, Taylor? What is it then? Can I explain it? That's the thing. Whenever I try to to share what how share the answer, then people are interjecting. Wow. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to explain why I said what I said. Go ahead. So that's not in regards to that person's self-esteem. This person is waiting. This person could be waiting on the pool and thought, okay, well, if I wait, I wonder if I wait on her to have sex, what does this mean? Like, do I want to do something like this? This person had, this person may be bothering with themselves whether or not they want to make this decision. If this person say, Hey, you know what? I do want to wait those two and a half months because I see that they, I see that I could be benefiting from this. If I sit and wait for this person. <laughs> 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 So, 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 so caller, I don't know. I, I, I got no so, 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 caller, do you call it? Because I know you you follow us here, and I and, and I appreciate that. So, caller, do you view it, everybody on this panel on this panel for what you've heard so far from us men? Do you believe that we're all respectful men? We all are upstanding, honest men. Oh me! Oh, sorry, that's the last coming line. Coming line. Um. I, I mean, I, can, I only know you guys from the panel. I don't know how you guys are outside the panel. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is, how long? How long have you been following us? A lot with views. How long have you been? That's fine. How long have you been following us? Um, I've seen uh, who's the guy who has like the black shirt in the top left corner. I've seen him before. Um, I like some. I, I enjoyed some of his talking points, but I, as a panel and whole, no. Okay, so again. I mean, so but how, you how have, long? How long have you been following? Months, weeks. I don't follow years. you guys. I've seen you on. The, I've seen the guy in the left cor- top left corner in a panel, but I don't follow you guys. No. Okay. Okay. So now let me let me let me explain to you this, right? I'm only saying this because I I really am trying to have you understand what we're saying to you. We're giving you the standards of a man. Uh, not a male, a man, and the standards you're saying, and, and the standards we're saying to you, you are totally disagreeing with, and you're saying that hey, this other way is perfectly fine, but we're giving you the standard of the man. If you said, if you said, hey, uh, you know, uh, every single day I wake up, this is what I expect. Wouldn't that be your standard? And then for us to turn around and explain what your standard is and say that's wrong, wouldn't you say that's like blasphemy? Blasphemy? I don't, okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's just like we're agreeing to disagree. You know? No, no, no. We're we're not agreeing at all. We're not agreeing. At all. What we're saying is nobody on this panel will wait a month and a half because if you're giving a woman, if you're giving, look, remember, remember this: if you're giving the woman the power. You are submitting to that woman. Exactly. Exactly. I'm so, ask your first question. I'm going to answer your first question. So, whenever I say agree to disagree, that doesn't mean literally mean that we're agreeing. It's just we understand that there we have a different way of viewing things. So, you have a different way of viewing things. You may have came across, and you're you're a man yourself. So, I'm pretty sure you have seen some things that I have not. I'm going. Oh, I've seen of, a lot I've of things you have not. See now, now I see why Miles is only be talking to these ladies. I, I guess I, I, I see because <laughs> it don't even make I sense. To disagree, and that still is coming up as an issue, and I'm not sure why. 
Like we we just see things differently, and that's and that's. No, but we're, we're not supposed to though. I, this I, is I, what I'm. This is what we're trying to tell you. We're not supposed to do anything different. You are a helpmate. Do you understand what that means? You were created to help the man. No, you're not a partner. partner. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem. Stop right there. Stop right there. Hey, Taylor, hold on. Be quiet. Be quiet. Taylor, 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 be quiet for a second. Taylor, Taylor, be quiet for a second. Here is the disconnect. You think men and women are equal in relationships, and we're not. No, I don't. No, I Can don't. You, you do? I think men and women. I do not think men and women are equal. No. Why do you keep saying partner? We're not partners. You said help me. Help make can be synonymous to partner. Do you no, it's not. Huh? To assist a partnership. Miles, do we got any other calls, Miles? Please say yes. Partner. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we got other calls. Oh, yeah, let's see. Right, right, okay, yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you for, thank you for, um, you know, coming on and you, calling guys. back. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Take it easy, all right? Thank you. Appreciate you guys. See you in the chat. All right. All right. See you in the chat. Cool. All right, so we got 916. 916, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. Name, Aid City. I don't, and- I don't know how Fresh and Fit do this every day. Yo, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Yo, 916. Iris. Oh, shit. We got another girl. Oh, God damn it. Well, hi. How you doing? Name, Aid City, please. Um, Iris, 51. I'm living in uh, Sally Andrew, California. All right. Cali. Cali. Uh- so yeah, so what's the what's the question or the disagreement or whatever? I don't have any disagreements. I just had I'm I've been listening to all of this conversations and it's mind blowing. But oh, guess, thank, you. thank you, we appreciate it. My question is because I I could see in a sense where you guys go with your conversations with some of this um, dialogue that you're having back and forth with um, women on your women and, women and men and males. Okay, so so what's your question, Iris? So I already understand that at the beginning, this is a man's chat room. This has got nothing to do with women on that note. So, so when we do chime in, which every now and then, I get this pop-up that Mr. 1950... I don't like, I don't like her tone, no? I think it's a nipple picture. Yeah. Where she, like, <laughs> so you, get, so you said you get a pop-up of Mr. 1950, what pops up? It just pops up on my ph- on my phone that there's a live podcast. Because she subscribed. She oh, subscribed. okay. So, yeah, you know, hey, look here. Sometimes, you know, God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> he's trying to get you, he's trying to get you to hear the gospel, right? The gospel. Mm, okay. You like that. I can hear you like that. So, let's be real. You subscribe because of what? Uh uh-uh. uh, I subscribe. I subscribe because I know who you are as a okay. person in general outside of this podcast. Oh, this is Iris Hill. Every now and then, oh, oh, oh. I go on yeah. here. That's it. Oh, so let me let me uh, Iris. Let me tell you. Shout out to you. First of all, first of all, yeah, we do know each other. Yeah, Most definitely. Uh, yes. So, what I would say to you is, Iris, a you know we this right here. You, I, I know that you are a very submissive woman. So we're not gonna we're not gonna act like we that you're not. We're not calling it and act like you're not, right? Well, I am not a unsubmissive type. So I I get you on that. I will. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're very submissive. I, I like that. You know what, Iris? Shout out to you. I haven't seen you in a while. Energy has to match mm-hmm. in order to have that submission. Oh. That whole submission oh, yeah, yeah. Right. well hey we you know iris i do appreciate you calling in i will i will say shout out to you i, I haven't seen i haven't i haven't peeped you in a minute it's been a while she's been yes, peeping I somebody I know. you said what now yes i understand i said you, yes i know i understand yeah 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 you still out there in uh the bay with with that situation huh <laughs> i'm in the bay area living with, my best life where? <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. You out there still with that situation, huh? Okay. Well, I am definitely. I think you guys already touched up on that earlier. That I like that. Okay. Well, I, hey, you know, hey, you know, you know how much you know. 
you know, we have a, uh, a history. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to decline too much information right here on this, on this podcast. Cause we're, we're, we're international, but I, I will tell you, I definitely know why you're in this chat. <laughs> okay. And let me guess, is it because of all the things that you guys done said to these other women? That no, you- no, no. You know exactly why you're in this chat. It's, no. It has nothing to do with these no. other women. Or cobwebs and all that stuff emptied you, out or whatever. You like, and you, and you, okay. come on now. Come on, you don't like that? You was over there laughing, smiling. It's not, it's, it's Come not, on now. You know. You said what now? It's not very enlightening. But I'm just saying in my own thoughts, because that's not what I came to ask about in general. Okay, go ahead. Yes, what's the question? So what did you come for, exactly? <laughs> on the podcast, I hear you guys calling women bitches. Is that what? You, is that how you see women in general? No, so, so let me tell you something. There's a bitch. There, so let me let me tell you, Iris. I, I'm, I'm always wanting to, to teach this, right? So there's a bitch, and then there's an enduring bitch, right? There's a there's a there's a, there's a time where a woman loves to be called a bitch. They 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 absolutely love that time. And see, you got to know the difference. See, and you should. You should know the difference right off top. You know me enough to know how I move. So you know that this is this is who I am, but I'm always going to tell you the truth. Hey, if I'm calling somebody a bitch, then they know what type of bitch that is. Is that do you understand that? I'm gonna have to say that. I understand people in general, but the name calling calling part of it, no, name I don't. Well, what, but when do we name call anyone? I'm just at, I'm just advising that you know the word bitch. What does it symbolize to you all? Like so, said, there's an enduring. So bitch. so so so, so the thing to, is the thing is you got to understand context though, because co- context matters. You see what I'm saying? Because if I say if I say I like thick bitches, right? I'm I'm complimenting mm-hmm. thick bitches. So what's the issue? Have you ever used the word nigga before? Iris? In all of- Iris, Iris, have you ever used the word nigga before? No, I don't hmm. like to use it, and I and I have you used it one time. Have you used it one time? Yes, I don't like. No, he the didn't ask you what you like. Iris, 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 way. Iris, Iris, listen. I'm going to need you to slow down and listen to what the man just asked you. He didn't ask you what you like. He asked you if you use the word ever in your life. Please I answer the question. I do not. Okay, and so let me ask you another word. Let me ask you another word. I need have, to hear the question. I heard it now. How, how many definitions do the word bad have? Excuse me? How many definitions do you think the word bad has? Like, oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, that's a badass dress. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. You want to now dissect words. No, what I'm saying to you is like like he was saying. He was saying it. Everything is used in context. So what I'm saying to you is, is that the the women who are be, who felt who feels like men shouldn't use that word or normally the women who takes a person when men have used that word towards them. So what I'm saying to you is I wasn't speaking directly to you, Iris. Hmm. And I was speaking well, to the masses of who I communicate. Level, level. I, I don't think that you're calling me that or taking it that way. I'm just speaking a reference to this is, is this how you perceive women? No, 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 no. I, I think what you're trying to do is police us. Okay, do a, Iris, you're person. trying to police a man's face. Yeah. Hold, on. Hold, on, Iris. Hold on, Iris. Hold on, Iris. Hold on, Iris. Hold on, Iris. Let me ask you a question. When we prefer, we're 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 of the we're of the male gender. When 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 we refer to the opposite gender, do we always use the word bitch, or do you sometimes hear female, lady, or women? That's what I'm asking. I, no, I, no, no, I no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop women, it. Lady, stop it. Stop it. So you hear, only you've only see. watched this show and only heard us refer to the opposite uh, gender as bitch. That's what you're saying to us. 
every time I okay, get Okay, listen, so listen, 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 yet. listen, listen. Here is the answer. Here's the here's the solution to your to your issue. Continue watching because somewhere along the way you will hear us refer to women in different ways. Yeah, most okay. definitely. And 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 I want to say this in closing, Iris. I, I want you to know that when you walk into a barber shop, do you tell the barbers that they shouldn't use certain type of words? <laughs> what would be a reason for me to walk into the barber shop? You see, you see what I'm saying? What is wrong with you? What, 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 what I'm trying to tell you is, hey, go ahead. Let me say this. Let me say this to, to I'm all of you. Because, I mean, hold, I'm, hold on, Iris. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Iris. 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 So I'm just asking, why would I be going Iris, to Iris, 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 Iris. That's not the point Iris. of the question. It's called a hypothetical Iris. question. You know what hypothetical Iris. means? No, so, I Iris. have not Iris. a conversation I, with any of them. Yo, yo, what's wrong with y'all women today? Women are running in my Iris. Iris. Yeah, Iris. Y'all talk too much. I'm being quiet. Iris. I say this with love. Hold on, Zach. Iris. I say this with love. Iris, please listen to me. Please. Shut the fuck up. Now say we love, please. Please. We're, and the reason I'm saying this is because, see, we we gave you a lot of leeway. And every time we give you leeway, you feel that you could keep talking when we're trying to have dialogue with you. So if you could please, just please, when my boy Zach talked to you. And I say this with love. Shut the fuck up. Please, and let us talk to you. And I'm not talking down to you or mean to you, but this is what men do. Please shut the fuck up. Please, Zach. Now, please go. You oh, got it, brother. Now, Iris, Iris, to to the, to the gentleman's point. If we were in a barber shop and there was a bunch of dudes around, this is exactly how we would be talking. So imagine if a woman strolled her happy ass into a barber shop and said, "Why did you gentlemen use such language?" Like, this is how men talk. So there's the difference between us using bitch in our conversation versus actually calling a woman a bitch. Two different things. Yeah, and and and, and if I rolled into a if I rolled into a hair salon, I mean, I I'm probably you. not going to use the word. That's why I'm asking the question. It has got nothing to do with you guys having just a, you know, a man's conversation. It's a man's world and a man's um, atmosphere. Got it. I understand that completely. Mm -hmm. but when you have guys talking about certain conversations with you all, and you're saying directly that she's a bitch, that oh, is Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. When have we? This is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm calling you Tyler. Uh, I, Iris. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused. We're not saying any woman is a bitch to degrade her. Okay. You know, just like when Fifty said, "Is there different definitions for bad bitch?" Is also slang. Do you understand what I'm saying? So is bitch not slang, Iris? It is. Okay, so then what's the issue? Okay. okay. So then what's the issue? Okay. You, know, you know what, Iris? I, I really want to say this. Yeah, shout out, shout out to you. But at the same time, I'm just asking for clarity and okay. you're giving it to me. Is just, that okay? And, 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 and we love to give it to. Let me let me just say. Okay. We we hey, Iris. On the back end, so hey, happy to hear from you. It's been a long time. Um, I still see your uh your your granddaughter. You know, I see her every day. Bless her, bless her soul, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Hey, yeah, hey Iris, do you have a problem with the fact that we say nigga instead of men? I don't. I don't. I'm Iris, gonna tell you again, I really do not like. Iris, do not like that. Disrespect no, women, Iris, 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 listen to me. Iris, it's funny. Iris, it's Iris, I've been quiet. Please listen. Please, Iris, and listen. We don't disrespect women, but this is what you don't understand. Because you are in a in an area that is unfamiliar to you called men, you expect us to talk uh, uh, that's pleasing to you. And I hate to say this, but we don't give a fuck about your feelings. And I'm this in a bad way. If, if, you, if you want some soft ass no, shit, okay. Iris, if you want some soft ass talking okay. motherfuckers, Iris, you're doing it again. Iris, if you want some soft ass talking motherfuckers, go hang out with them losers you hang out with. But if you want to hear it like men, hey, listen, if you want to come in the room with the men, don't complain what you hear about. You just accept it for what it is and don't say anything about it. And then go complain to the other bitch ass guys that'll be your shoulder to cry on where they like, well, gee, why, why, why do you, wait, wait, Iris, wait, wait, Iris, excuse me. 
Iris, hello, Iris, 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 please listen. I want you to listen to something, Iris, okay? Please listen, Iris. I'm going to play it one time for you, okay, Iris? This I just broke up with my boyfriend. Damn, again? What yeah. happened? He's just so selfish and disrespectful, cheating on me all the time, even DMing my best friend. Wow. Right? So, Iris, so tell me. You love the fact that we say the word bitch and you love the fact that we're chin checking you because you're not used to real motherfuckers being real. And deep, deep inside, Iris, you can't help but to listen to us because you know when you walk out or in this show, you got to go back down there again. You got to go back to the average. You got to go back to all the ass kissers, guys walking on eggshells and guys saying what they want to try to get your pussy. And these men on this panel don't give a fuck about you or your pussy. And that's why you love hearing us say what we're saying. You were just trying to take an acquired taste and get used to it. That's why I've been quiet. Uh, you've been running. All these women popping. I've been quiet. But now I'm just saying to you, Iris, if you're going to be here with the men and we say these to the other guys, you're going to have to accept what we say. And if you don't, we don't give a fuck. But don't ever try to tell a man what he should do. Either you accept it or take your ass on because we're going to be us regardless if you're here or not. That's all I wanted to say, Iris. <laughs> well, you feel comfortable talking the way that you talk. That's fine. Iris, 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 because, hey, you know why? Because we get Iris, Iris. Because we get so many, we have so many women that love the way we talk, Iris. But, 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 what, but what I want to know, real quick, Iris, I just want to know this. Should, should men do what Iris wants, or should men do what men want? Which one? Fuck! You know, it makes you feel good as a man. It makes you feel good as a man. To talk like that. To any woman. You tell me you got the fuck up and all this stuff. I mean, what type of lifestyle are you living? No, no, I'm asking you a question, Iris. How are you living? Iris, I'm so, this is what I'm saying. Should a man, hold on, Iris. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Iris. All I'm asking you is, it's real simple. Should a man do what Iris wants or should a man do what he wants? Which one? That's all we're asking. And yeah, I had her on mute. She's been talking so the whole time. Say fuck you and shut the fuck up. So I don't, I don't think... answer the question. I, oh. All I said is, yeah. should men change who they are and do what Iris wants or should a man do what he wants? It's a simple question. Oh. Huh? That's not what I'm saying. No, you just called and said that we shouldn't be saying bitch. So you're telling men what to do with their lives. Why? Like, should we can we listen to you or should we do what we want to do? Of why you call a woman a bitch. I didn't say nothing else. If you want to call a woman a bitch and you feel comfortable with that, that's your business. Okay, Iris, check this out. Iris, check this out. Iris, check this out. Iris, check this out. Is every is every female a lady? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Iris, can you answer the question? Is every female a lady? Listen, no. all right, all right, all right, all right. Iris, 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 we love you. Some people, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, we're done. 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 Yeah. Yo, listen, 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 listen. I gotta, I gotta say this real quick though. Real, real talk. Shout out uh, to Fresh and Fit because I could not do this every Bro. fucking day. I would, I would, I would jump off of a bridge. <laughs> And land on a nail, okay? I can't. Yo, I can't, bro. <laughs> Yo, two five, two five four. We got two five four. This is the last one because we on OT heavy. Two five four. You're on live with uh, the the Real Game Theory panel. Name eight city. What's up? Two five four. Go ahead. You're we good with y'all niggas playing a joke, man. Yeah. Hold you again, bro. He's a bitch. You twenty two. All right, you go real quick, girl. Get, uh, get your question. He ain't got no question. He's scared of pussy, dog. <laughs> 26. My bad. What's your question, bro? Go ahead. Six years old, tall like a bitch. <laughs> see that, see that lady? Like we call him a bitch, too. He didn't complain. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, Miles. My bad, dog. Fuck. Uh, nah, give me a chance. Give me a chance. All right. All right, you, you, all right go ahead, caller. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask um, if I... Going once. Hello. Going twice. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, we on OT. It? Stop playing games, nigga. Get your question out, my nigga. Please, I'm, I'm so I serious. I said, 
You, I you, said, you, do you think that if you, you I, clocked out? You, 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 you cut out for a second. Please repeat the question. Yes, I said if I. All right, that's it. I ain't playing around with these niggas. <laughs> okay, let me. Um, are we good on calls, now? Yeah, we're done. The phone lines are off. Okay. Fuck it, we're done. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me say this to all men, guys. I implore you, unapologetically be yourself. Thanks. Don't never allow women to tell you that you should be this way or be that way. If they ain't feeling how you're moving, they can get the fuck on. Mm -hmm. Trust it up and down. There, there are four point something billion irises all around the fucking place. We good. <laughs> and, and I want to and I want to say this too. I, and I want to say this too on on the on the on the on the front end to y'all. See, I've I've known Iris for years. Iris does not act like it. it's been a long time. I was gonna ask you fifty. Yeah, like, hold on, hold on. So that's why I want to say this. I was has never been that way. I know I've known this woman for, for many years, but what I will say to you is, is that when they get away from like masculinity, manhood, shit changes, man, mm -hmm. shit changes. Like, and I'm going to tell you when they're around in that presence of one, they understand a real one. They understand that. But you know, I'm telling you when they get away and they, 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 they are, you know, are in the in the realms of other situations with other, you know, men. Man, I tell you, man, they, they women women need to be taught and they need to be continuously up. Like you, need, you should always leave a woman better than when you found her. Thanks. And so, a lot of men don't do that. And what happens is, is that a lot of women decline. And you know, shout out to Iris, man. You know, you can always hit me up. You know how we we got history, but like, I don't know what that was about. But she's never been that way ever. Well, you know, I'm just saying, saying it's odd that again we don't we don't tear women down. Okay, the thing is, we love women here, so they can actually see how men operate. That's the bottom line. And it's so crazy to me that and Iris, this is what's odd to me, Iris. You are kind of offended by the word bitch. But I'm sure, Iris, in your life, you have said, I'm a dirty, nasty bitch. Fuck my bitch ass. Pull my hair. Tell me to shut the hey, hey, fuck up. Hey, the pussy hey. is I ain't shit. Make me the whore and slut that I want to be. And no! Yet, <laughs> and, 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 and she messed with a silverback, nigga. You know what I mean? You know what it is, nigga. I've had six. Tell me. I have chicks tell me straight up, I'm a nasty bitch. Exactly. And I'm like, bitch, that's why I fuck with you. Because you're a nasty motherfucker. And what, happened, and what happened to all the bad bitches and boss bitches? What are we talking about? Right, right. bad bitches and boss bitches. Man, I enjoy the word bitch. It soothes, it soothes my soul when I say it. I felt, I felt like she offended Boss Mac when she called in because hey, <laughs> Boss Mac was a bad bitch. That nigga's a wild nigga, man. Boss that nigga. Mac was tight. Listen to he's like, if, if you want to be in, if you want to be entertained, <laughs> nigga, listen to that nigga's clips, man. Nigga, he is. Oh, oh, shout out, this, this is shit. Yeah, shout out to Boss Mac. Get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, he said. This nigga said, shout out. He said, shout out to Fresh from Fresh and Fit, man. We got to, we, let's start off with some positive. He said, nigga, you're nothing in a bad bitch, man. You know, a bitch was bad. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a wild nigga, man. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Wild nigga, man. Yeah, crazy. Yo, but hey, man. Hey, I'm going to tell you, man. Game is undefeated. Yes, sir. We we And I don't think you guys understand until you know, until it hits you that if you don't have no game or if you're not a man with game, your life is hard and it's going to continue to be that way until you find somebody with game. That's let, me, let me say this. Uh, shout out to uh, beautiful April MC, Renee P, Carmen, and there was um, there was somebody else, there was a few other women, other women, a few women that, 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 that rock with us on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Right. It, here, here's the reality of it. If, if we were some fucked up dudes, those women would not be rocking with us. Facts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to those ladies out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, you think? Hey, okay. Do y'all think hey, hey, Abraham she Abraham C would be around in the car? Yeah, exactly. Room? Right. For for this long. Classy women. Right. The classy right. women understand that we're not being okay. This is just how men 
operate in the circle of men. That's our language. That's how we express and talk to ourselves. We don't sit here and say, well, well, that, that nice person, he was so nice. And oh my God, you're just so nice. We don't talk like that. And later that's why we say, if you want to come in here, we welcome you in, ladies, but don't judge what you hear. We're not saying y'all are raggedy ass, shitty ass bitches. That's disrespect. We didn't call you raggedy and all that other shit. We didn't say you're modern. We didn't say you're hypergamous nature. That's calling you a worse than fucking us like a bitch. They're saying that you got a high leg count. We don't talk about your leg count because we don't give a fuck about it. Because I always tell you, your finger and your toy count is much higher than your dick count. So I mean, you know, you know, out so y'all don't even appreciate that shit so we don't we don't sit here we say bitch because that's a term of endearment that's how men talk what the fuck you want us to say we love you bitches <laughs> and guess what you bitches gotta share us <laughs> <laughs> uh, a classic yeah uh, now, now that was a, that was a good show though, man. That was a really good show. And, uh, guys, remember go to uh, themanmindset.com. Go to gatewaytogame.com. Go to badboymembership.com. Go to manhood is a still skill set. Manhood is a skill set.com. And make sure you go to masculineidentity.com. All right, guys. That has been the real yeah. game show theory real quick. show. Real and, quick, real quick, real quick. We I'm up out of here, but I want to let y'all know we must rock this show. <laughs> Uh, we're going to do the show at 12 noon here, uh, West Coast time. So it's probably three in New York. Uh, okay. so about another 30 minutes. Come over, Mr. 1950 channel, man. I'm rocking and rolling, man. I'm going to do a little OT today. And right. We're rock and roll. Right. Everybody subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Don't forget to, don't forget to check out the eclipse on Monday. The eclipse is coming around about 1, 1 PM. I think hey, the man clips. It's your man, call man, man, why is it? I'm such a nigga. I, nigga, I put my feet on the couch. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, for all my, I'm a, I'm a science, I'm a science nerd type nigga. So I fuck yeah, with nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Yeah, so yeah, y'all check that shit out. But guys, God willing, we'll be here next Sunday. Peace. And a good bottle of hair grease. Take it easy. Uh, yeah,